right, we'll skip that. Good night, guys. We are back. Um, whatever, go away. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go look for some beef again. Let's uh, see what's going on. Oh, all these cars outside my house. It is night time. No, very noisy. Actually, quite annoying. It's hard to make videos when that's going on. All right, we're going to select the reserve and uh, go back for the water buffalo. Du -du 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 -du. Apparently, the wolf's in the Yukon and are bad now. Uh, that's it, Parque Fernando, right? So, can you hear the drums, Fernando? Let's select the reserve and uh, check our weapons. I think we'll have the red decoy on us because we were in uh, looking for them earlier. The last uh, hunt. And uh, check out. I'm pretty sure I got all the right weapons on me. I've just got to get out there and find them. Oh, uh, Junglo Unglo. <laughs> what's, uh, what's going on here? Uh, first aid kit. Beautiful. We've got a pistol. Uh, got you. Got you. What else we got? You. And you. All right. So doing pretty cool. What I might do, I'm going to change the time soon. Oh, that's a duck flying. So there's a cow in here. What is the time here? All right. We're going backwards. Uh, 518. All right. Now, usually at 518, we head out to the other side of the map a little bit. We'll go over. Uh, where are we? Here. Over here. And hopefully we can find something. Uh, we've arrived. Um, maybe we've arrived. Oh, here we are. Bosk Murto. Oh, trying to climb out the window. That won't do. It won't happen, man. Oh, yeah, this is super early, isn't it? Look at that. Personally, I'm never awake this early. Unless I haven't been to bed. <laughs> Do we have desktop audio? I'm going to turn up a bit. I don't think we have a lot of desktop audio. Why not? I've turned it down a bit. Uh, uh, this, uh, go back to there. God, this freaks me out sometimes. There we go. I've oh, got a little bit there. It's just, uh, it's not really moving much. I think it's my OBS playing up. Now, last time we hunted these, we shot most of them with the pistol. Uh, because uh, they kept running at me, which I really love. Not all trucks need to animals. I know. So I always apply the sniff test. If the droppings are fresh, your game is close by. But if you find all the droppings, that animal is long gone. And is you should look for the more recent. All right, mate. This usually, this lady usually sends me to old poop, so I'm not sure what, why she keeps doing that. Um, you know. So we'll check it out. Is this a fresh track? We don't know. I went that way. Is this another cow here? Hopefully, we can get a few today. It's been a little while since, uh, I think over a week since we had a hunt of these. Or about a week, over a week. Uh, I'm going to head, keep heading this way first. Because that cow that we just uh, clicked on could be like two hours old and uh, well gone. Let's run a bit, because uh, they're beef, who cares? I like their noisy too, usually they do make a bit of noise in the distance, so you know they're around. Oh, sun's coming up, I saw the flash. I should have added UFOs to this game, I seriously. Just have one flying around every now and again. Perfect place for it. Huh? You could put uh, some crop circles on the ground. 
<laughs> oh no, I'm crazy. I can actually hear noise then when I brought my um, binoculars up. Sometimes you can't hear noise. Huh? All good? Did it have an update? Did they fix that? I haven't really kept up with what they've been doing to the game. Let's come out and hunt. I know there's a new map. New England, Old England, New York, whatever. It's coming out. Right on time for Christmas, as usual. Yeah, they're not beef tracks, look at that. That is some sort of a mule deer or something. A black buck. What's that there? Oh look, we found one. It appears to be alone. Nobody loves it. So let's get a little bit closer and see if we can make it angry. I think it's a female. They're usually the angriest ones, the women. Uh, let's get closer. You better not glitch, are you? Don't be glitched, my friend. Look, you should be angry right now. Look, I'm right in your face, dude. Let's have a good look at it. If it's on it, on it, it's a. Maybe it's half asleep. I think it's a bit glitched. Hello, I have a good look at you. Can we get close? Hello. Oh, hello. Yeah, it's, uh, it's woken up now. Alright, so it was just uh, getting ready from its coffee. That'll be dying. We've got another one running that way. That one's not going to come and play. Uh, let's pick it up. Yeah, I don't know. It could be a f yeah, it's female. It's got the thing jig there, and uh, two long shots, so not too bad. Uh, a silver. And we had the black one. Uh, run that way. The black one looked pretty fat. But I'm not sure it was a male either. Yeah, around here in the morning, I usually do find them uh, just hanging around. I don't know what they do out here. Eat grass or something. There's a black buck giving me a warning. I thought I would have heard the pistol and uh, ran away. <laughs> now there's a puma. Hopefully they make them so they attack us. Like it's a... Puma, Puma, however you want to say it. And uh, they should be a bit, uh, you know, nasty and want to uh, attack you. Every now and again. Probably not all the time, but every now and again. You should get the odd one that, you know, says, uh, get out of my area and attack you. Oh, what would we find over here? Let's look at the hunter. Useless hunter, mate. It really... Tells me where I am. Oh, is that a cow? Oh, there you go. There you are, right there, my friends. Oh, that one at the. F Wait, you walking away? You walk. You walk it. Don't run away. You look like you could be big gold. Come back, my friend. I am hungry for some beef. All right, moo to to cat. <laughs> uh, cats don't say moo. Let's run the cats. It with those, mate. Little bastard. I will shoot you with the rhino. You will never ever be the same. Uh, you're not coming? Alright, so the big beef run over here. That was huge. We had a big one in that uh, herd. Nice big male. Would have been a goal for sure. I didn't actually click on it. It was a bit quick for me or I'm a bit slow. I had a big nap before. And uh, I had a coffee and a donut. Now I feel like I'm all fat and bleh. <laughs> the donut would, uh, the sugar would pick me up. It may have, because it's pulled me out of my nap a bit. Oh, I'm hearing something. Oh, that was, uh, it's another cow. That was another female, I think. We're looking for that big male. Oh, oh, 
Hello. Oh, I missed you. Second shot missed. Uh, well, you're injured. No? Yeah, hello. I'm still reloading, cow. Please. Give me a load. <laughs> Look at that. Uh, cheeky. Come back. Here we go. We've got to put you out in misery, mate. Oh, missed again. Bad shot. Oh, come back. I'm having a, a day and a half here. I'm still waking up from your nap, cow. Ah, uh, that, that's the shot we wanted. Uh, let's just run a little bit. I can hear it lurching down. Uh, all the females at the moment. Hey, Karina, how you going? Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, I'm feeling fat. I had, um, like I've done a stream today. And then I um, went and had spaghetti bolognese. And, you know, I cleaned up after myself, washed my dishes and that. Then I went and had a nap. Because I just felt all, you know, I didn't have much sleep last night. And then, yeah, when I woke up, I thought, I'll have a coffee and I'll have a donut. Because I bought these little tiny jam donuts at the supermarket today. It's like two bucks for six, but they're really tiny. I thought, I'll have one with the coffee because they've got a heap of sugar on them. And it'll pick me up. <laughs> I just feel fat. I feel fat and lazy now. It's like, oh, yeah, I shouldn't have done that, maybe. And maybe in half an hour, the sugar will get into my system and uh, I'll be feeling better. I'm not much of a, you know, big sugar type person. All right. We had a big, huge male out here, which I'd really love to shoot. I reckon it would have been a gold. I don't know where they've run, man. The females keep attacking me. So much sugar isn't... I know, I don't have a lot of sugar. Um, and when I do, it sort of does pick me up. It's like, ah, oh, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, I just feel fat and lazy now. Well, I'm not fat, personally. I'm a bit overweight, but I'm not fat. But, um... That's how I feel. I feel like, Ugh. <laughs> I think there's spaghetti bolognese too. It was a nice meal. All right, come on. I've lost me beef. There's no tracks there. We're going back this way. Oh, go away, Puma. There is a lot of uh, mist in this game. Yeah, I know. There is a lot of mist. I don't mind it though. It actually adds a bit of realism, I suppose. Usually, as long as it's in the morning and the evenings, you don't, you know. Maybe we'll climb up this ladder here a minute and see what's going on around the area, mate. I never use these things. Let's use one. Let's put it into use, my friends. Up the tower we go. So we can find us a beef arena out there. Run, fat boy. Run, fat boy. You've eaten a donut. Get up there. All right? Well... <laughs> Personally, it's my avatar, but I can just pretend it's me. Look, what's that out there? There, look. There's actually also like a a mule deer or something laying with them. Yeah, but they're all small. Where's my big beef? So what's that? That is a black buck hanging with two female buffaloes. For protection. See, it knows I'm around. It goes, the worst place it could do is hang around beef. That's what I'm trying to shoot. I usually don't shoot black bucks. I don't care about them. Yeah, unless they look really huge or something. Hello. I have lost a huge beef. And uh, I want to find it. I wouldn't mind shooting that cat. They're noisy buggers, aren't they? A lot of noise pollution from them pumas. But probably should shoot them all. Um, oh, God. Hopefully we come across him again. We'll just find the females over there. With the black buck. Female black buck. That is, that is uh, awesome. That's crazy, isn't it? That's good that they do that. Oh, man, 
I saw its big fat ass and its horns, and it was definitely a gold. Hey, Patrick, how you going, man? And we've lost it. We've lost it. Yeah. Like, we can see tracks there. I don't think they went that way. What's that? Something popped then. What, what was that? Where are you? Ah, another black buck. A male. There's a lot of them on this map. I always, always hear them. I don't know where this stupid cat is, man. It's like it's looking up at me. <laughs> Doesn't like me being here. Alright, so they're just the females. I have no idea where the male went. You reckon we shot a gun, but they're probably, you know, highly unlikely they're going to run past me. Alright, we'll go down and look at these tracks. What is in this tower? Oh, it's just the map thing, right? Got a microphone there. You should be able to get on the microphone. Damn. That was the biggest uh, beef I've seen in a while. It was in a herd, but uh, I, don't, I just don't know where they went. Maybe if we walk towards them two females, something will uh, appear. Let's put our little uh, trusty friend in our hand. The best gun in the game, the one of, it is so powerful. I have a... A lion ran out once, a male lion on the savannah, and I just went boom! And I hit it, and it killed it. It was one of those reflex shots. Like you had to just shoot, or otherwise the thing would be gone. Oh. So that's that's a male black buck. Where is it? I never shoot these things. It's probably behind. Oh, there it goes. Run away. They're very good at uh, hearing you come. So yeah, good to be back in the game. I haven't really played this game since my last uh, stream. Because like I said, I'm just slowly getting back into it. I want to push myself and uh, ruin it. Uh, that's definitely not a beef track there. That was a little poop. So yeah, I think we've lost me cows, mate. Let's go back to where we did see them run across the hill. Uh, here's a poo here. How old is this poo? That is a very old piece of crap. One of them must have done a freshie, right? Oh, might be fresh now, but... A very old... Come on. Is the poo wear out that quick? <laughs> very old. Oh, God. Maybe it was a mirage. Now I'll walk back down here. Because sometimes they back in on themselves. They were down here. And obviously they heard me and they ran up the hill. And uh, maybe eventually they'll come back this way. So I'll have a little look. Yes, I have been playing uh, City Skylines a couple of times. My uh, original city, my uh, first city I ever built, failed. Well, that could be it there. That's a pretty big one. It uh, failed miserably. So I um, started a new city, a new area, a new patch of land. and uh, So far, so good. It's one of those games, you start to play it, and uh, you know, you're laying down roads and putting in areas and watching it build up. And before you know it, four hours have gone by. And you're going, you're joking. Oh, my God. Like last night, 4.30 in the morning. I looked at the clock where it's 4.30. I better go to bed. Because <laughs> I have to wake up today and uh, go to the local uh, shopping centre by bus. And uh, while I was there, I, uh, we got a state ele election here this month. So I voted. Early voting. Oh, we heard a cow. So if you um, you know, if you don't vote in Australia, you get fined. So you got to go there. You got to vote. You got to get your name off. You know, I done a real vote, and uh, yeah, so I've got that out of the way now. 
and I bought donuts, and uh, yeah, now I'm regretting the, the donut decision. I might feed them to the birds tomorrow. <laughs> There's a couple left. I'll probably have four left, so I'll give them to the birds. I was gonna maybe later too go check on that um level seven red deer at Hirchfeld. And we need the third time we've seen it three times and it always escapes me. It sends its females in and they sniff the area out and get all nervous and he stays at the back and as soon as they move he runs. He's a real smart bastard. You gotta hand it to him. He knows what he's doing. He's willing to sacrifice every female he has to survive. So I give him uh, props. He's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm going to see if we can kill him later. Don't be surprised if you find dead birds. Dead birds? Well, on, on the map here, are they falling out of the sky? Oh, you mean when I feed them the donuts? No, that'll be right. I've got sparrows, doves, blackbirds, starlings. Got them all that come here. And then in the afternoon, every year we have uh, the magpies come here when they have, once their babies uh, are big enough to fly, which is this week, and they come in my backyard and start making noise, and I give them some bread and noodles. Like originally, you know, magpies usually like meat, they don't want bread, but I think because she just stuffs them into her young ones to fill their belly a bit, and then gives them some noodles you know, the two-minute noodles. And, uh, yeah, they're happy as Larry. They've been coming here for years because they have a bird bath in my backyard. I, you know, clean the water out all the time, keep it clean water so they can drink it and bathe in it. And, uh, yeah, so this uh, is a, a big area for birds at my house. <laughs> they all seem to come here. Uh, where is my beef, baby? We heard a cow over here. Could have been those two females in the black buck that were, I don't know, hanging around together. Looked a little bit sus, but, you know, I'll let them off with a warning. Where am I walking now? All right, what I'm going to do, I will have a look at the, the crazy lake. Why not? They will fast travel back to where I came right here and see if we can find that big one out there. You have a bad wind. Oh, do I? I have spray on me. I always forget about this spray. No, I can't spray a band-aid on me. All right, here we go. All right, I'm all good. I put on my aftershave stuff on my face <laughs> and then my armpits. All right, here we are. All right, come on, beef. Now, I've gotten two females that have both uh, attacked me, which I appreciate. But I want that big male. Or a big male. Any big male would be awesome. And uh, some parts of this map now are getting really red. We've really um, smacked it around. I don't really mind. Like, that's what it's there for, to hunt on. So, I don't care if it goes bright pink, mate. Uh, let's check down this water. Maybe there is something standing around the lake waiting to be, uh, you know, hit with a bullet. Uh, I need a drink of cordial here. Yes, hope you've had a, a good week. It is uh, Friday night here. I've had a, a really weird gaming week, I've got to say that. It's been a hard gaming week. I'm hearing feet. I think it was a deer running off. I was hoping it was a beef running towards me. Yeah, it's been a hard gaming week. Because like the last, you know, so many months now, I've been playing uh, Guild Wars 2 World vs. World every day. And uh, once again, we've come up against the T1 team, the best team in North America. Um... And, uh, man, oh, my God. Because there's so many of them. They're a world versus world server. And there's two of them. And they're, like, grouped together. 
And then we're with the Sea of Sorrows, who are a tier one group. I think we're tier four. And there are other group with Magoom is tier four as well, but there are so many of them. And then they're, they're on when we're sort of not on. We have hardly any people on. And then when you get to the map, they've captured everything. And then they uh, put siege in front of your spawn and pretty much spawn camp you uh, like people spawn camp in an FPS. And it's been one of those weeks. <laughs> but they are tomorrow at 1 uh, p.m. here. Um, everything changes. There we go, look at that. There's a 7, how far is that? Well, I reckon, go for a shot at 327, guys. We do have my trusty old friend, this gun. Oh, man. Uh, it's going to be shaky, a little bit shaky. We're going to pump it in. Oh, we hit it once. I'm hoping we hit the one. Uh, we're just going to put a little waypoint there. That's about this spot there. So we'll walk over. If we've hit the shoulder, well then, uh, yeah, it's a shit shot. But if we've hit the lung, we will find out. You've been hunting on the Yukon looking for... Have you found any of the aggressive wolves? Did you find any? Like, I know... Um, Haggis said that they have them. Did you find them? Because I, I was thinking of going there looking for them as well. Because I love an aggressive animal. And the pack of wolves at the Yukon killed me a heap of times. They're a formidable foe when they're on song. Because you have like six of them going on you. <laughs> it's awesome. Got attacked a few times. Oh, that's nice. That's good. They need to do that. That's what we want in this game. This is not a fishing game. It's a hunting game and people die when they hunt. They even get shot by other hunters by accident. So we don't have that in this game. So the animals have to do that job. Uh, a lot of zones here, right? red deer that's why they're all around here so I don't hunt around this lake that much and uh, look at Jesus Christ it's like a two kilometer run around the lake oh what's that what's that another red deer uh, it's just uh, uh, we've got our spray on so we're good there we'll pull out a gun we'll whack it back to 150 and that isn't the gun Uh, we did put a waypoint where we did shoot that red deer so we don't sort of lose our bearings because it's easy to do once you start to run around a big lake like this and you look back and you go where the hell was that red deer unless it dies and then it'll put a mark there which it hasn't died look there's no uh we've hit it in the shoulder so yeah that sucks man i i have a uh what's a face right What's that? That's the pig caller, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But if you uh, take out the highest scoring one, the rest run off. Yeah, if you're lucky, if you hit the biggest one or the alpha one, whatever they call it, they probably will just uh, then take off. I can see the red deer over there. That's the small one. See, behind it, there's another one. That's the big one. Maybe that we already hit, or it's a different deer. There's a bigger one behind it. We're going to keep calling. Now, the wind's bad. Oh, was that one? He went for a swim. But I've got the spray on, dudes. What are you doing running all right? I have the spray on. All right. Karina even told me, yeah, the big one's still there. I can see his antlers moving. Oh, you did, you were six hard fling. You're a little bastard. This was going on there, mate. Huh? Now, I'm going to keep walking towards this uh, zone. 
Oh. Must be a few red deer around here, huh? Oh, don't run, don't run. How do I cross this lake? Hey, effing Nora, mate. What was going on? Oh, hang on. <laughs> he can't swim in this game. They should put it so he can swim. <laughs> i got to swim across to that freaking thing, mate. It was like a, not a two kilometre run around the lake. It's not even dead. Maybe I should just not even worry about it. Let's see what this red deer is anyway. Let's see if we can get on top of this hill and then look down. I did sound sort of close, but I just, I've got to be able to, I want to see it coming in. Is that you? Yeah, that's you. So we're getting on top of this rice here, we could be okay. Maybe. Get in there. Oh, I'm going to keep pulling out that 300. Hello. There you are. Oh, you're the little one again. Is your big friend with you? I will take you because I do not have a red deer yet today, my friend. And you look very, uh, man, it looks like you're worth a thousand dollars. Oh, you bastard. Boy, he's giving on me. I have my spray on. Have they got, like, psychic abilities, Red Deer, now? They got the ESP, mate. They know that I'm here. You bastards. Uh, I don't even know how to get around this other spot to this lake. It's like a ten... Look at this freaking lake, mate. We haven't got a thing out there I haven't found yet. That's how far it is. <laughs> Even those animals scare way too soon. Yeah, sometimes I think they do. Like, it wasn't moving. The wind wasn't blowing towards it. I know it is already probably skittish. I wasn't really making any noise. Maybe it saw the glint of my binoculars. And the sun hit the glass, and then that's all it took. Like, no! All right, let's slowly make our way to... Did I leave the waypoint there? Oh, these effing useless things. Yeah, I did. Why do we have a hunter mate again? I'm not understanding what, what it's even in the game for. I can understand it was like a phone and it rang. But it doesn't even do that. <laughs> Definitely ASP. They got something. I noticed that last time, the red deer. It's super... Um, they're worse than the ones in the classic. The classic are easier to get the red deer there. Not that I complain, I don't mind a bit of realism. I imagine in the wild, like animals like red deer and um, probably elk would um, be a bit um, spooked out, right? Because bears eat them and stuff, right? Does a bear eat elk? Would a bear eat an elk? I don't know. I don't know. Grizzly bear might, right? We don't have bears in Australia, so I don't know what bears do. I know they eat people and kill them and they eat, uh, you know, they eat stuff, don't they? They're meat eaters. Oh, hello. You're a whatever the hell you were. An Axis deer, female. Last time I shot an Axis deer, it was a zombified thing. The devil deer. Down in uh, Australia here on the classic at Halloween. That was fun. All right, what is going on, mate? I think, did do we have a, a dot there? No, the red deer didn't die. So what I'm going to do, we're going to, so I wanted to double back uh, for the beef. And I was hoping if I double back here, they'll be out here now. The red deer are giving me a slip there, so... Damn you, Red Deer. We're out here now again. Right, stand up, stand up, man. Don't run, don't run, don't run. You greasy bastard. Oh, I'm feeling less fat now. Maybe the sugar's starting to take effect. It's kicking in. Ugh, I should have snorted this stuff, right? 
<laughs> we're going to get them quicker instead of eating it. All right, we're only talking about sugar, folks. Just sugar. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just mucking around. All right. Will we find any beef out here? Walking across the paddock. Can we find that big mozzarella enchilada beef that we saw earlier before? Had the biggest horns in ages, man. Looked, uh, looked good. Looked massive. That's what I want to see on my map. Like, big beef. You know what I mean? You go out here and you go, look at that beef, mate. It's awesome. Feed a family of 100. <laughs> All right, where are you, beef? See, sometimes we get them. There, this is where we get them. Oh, you're the one. You ain't found them. I knew if we double back, my friends, we would find the huge beef. And we've got to stay calm. We're still sprayed up. The wind is good. Do not panic. I just want to get a little bit closer. So it's either a kilometer away, which it's not, <laughs> or 220. So, no, it's not a kilometer away. The bullet doesn't go that far. That's cool. And there's a special gun to do a kilometer. Oh, maybe a lot of guns would go that far, but they'd be very inaccurate. They'd be, like, really falling down. They've got a good broadside here. If I can get it to, like, 160... Oh, no, no. You don't stand up. All right, we're going to have to maybe take a pot. We're going to put this on 150. And we're going to into that muscular body of his. Uh, hopefully we hit that twice. None of the others look that big. Let's go see if we hit the lung. I'm hoping we did. Reload this. So that was the one we saw walking away. So it's a big gold. It looked like a big gold when I first saw it. Okay, that's a big gold. So, and we got an eight mythical last time, right? We hunted here. So maybe some of them will end eventually turn to a diamond. I did have a diamond on here, and then they reset the map. So we like we didn't get that diamond. So the game does owe me one. And eventually it will pay back. Oh, did I mark it? I did, because it was an 8 mythical. Oh, we got another. Let's just put this in our hand. Stop running for a tick. Uh, I want to see big blood. The blood. The blood. Show me the blood. No little blood. I will be angry. Oh, I think we've got a big blood. Is that big blood or is it big poop? What is that? What is that? It's a big blood. I think we hit it good. I think we might hit that long. We hit that vital, man. No, that is the wrong track. There we go. Vital organ hit. This is what we want to see. We did take a second shot at it. I don't know if we hit it. We may hit a shoulder or a stomach. If that second shot, as long as you hit it, it will help slow it down anyway. As if we did hit it the second time. Because that 300 can be a bit of a weird gun sometimes. I do have, I don't know, sometimes it just seems a bit weird. It could be me. Uh, around this way. It's going down, so we should find it dead. And then uh, the other beef won't be too far away from it, right? Beef. We like the beef. I'm glad this game has these big animals in it. Yes, it's down. Because I'd sort of, you know, I'd, I wouldn't play this as much if it didn't have beef. I think you could tell that because I'm always hunting them. I reckon they're the best animal in the game, mate. Look at this thing. Uh, it's still got, yeah, the, the cows are in front of it. Not too bad. Not too bad, look at that. So, uh, probably still got a little bit before it'd become a diamond. So it's a 166. Ooh, actually it was only like a point and a half away. Jesus Christ. Yeah, pretty much a point and a half away from being a diamond. But then it would have been a small diamond. So it is a huge, uh, that's a big goal. 
As soon as I saw it, I thought, yeah, that's a big gold. Yeah, very close to a diamond, man. If you had it eaten a few more, um, whatever you eat, well, we might have got there. At 13.90, not bad. Got all our ticks, and uh, it was a 212-meter uh, shot. So let's keep walking forward, because we heard the cows. And uh, sometimes once the big male gets killed, they stand around a bit perplexed and go, what's going on, mate? Where's Harry? And then little do they realise oh, I've killed Harry. Harry is down, mate. He's headed for the freezer and the barbecue. Oh, what's going on? Oh, they're, they're running off, actually. There she goes. So the whole herd probably ran up that way. Pity they didn't get angry and then, uh, you know, want revenge. Revenge. It's a good thing. Especially for animals. <laughs> you know, black buck. They're everywhere on my map. If you like black buck, seriously, my map has got like tons of them. I don't even shoot them. So, probably a few diamonds out there. Let's check the lake, man. So you've been playing this? Oh, you did play it. That's right, Karen. You went to the Yukon. The Yukon. I like the Yukon, but I just got so turned off on it when the, you know, the wolf went, you know, just like puppy dogs. I went, nah, I just can't come here anymore. So I just, I haven't been there, I don't know, since that happened years ago, a couple of years since I've been to the Yukon. Like if you look at my video history, I just stopped going there. And I really, you know, the map is beautiful. I thought I liked that, that they had the bear there and, you know, the, we call them reindeer. They're not reindeer, those things. And it had the bison and it had the, you know, crazy wolf. And I thought, oh, cool, crazy wolf. I love crazy wolf. So, you know, make the wolf crazy again and uh, it'll be awesome. All right, let's walk down here and see what we find. I'm not chasing the female beef that way. It's sort of boring. We're trying to get the big beef. We've gotten one mythical and, uh, what, two or three females now. That's about it. We did shoot a red deer that didn't die. And then we had his friend come over and stir me up. And, uh, yeah. Not much luck on the red deer. Like, this all's going to... That one always... Uh, Stirs me up at Hirschfelden. Three times he's done it. And uh, once they do that, I want to... Then after that, I want to, you know... It's like he's challenged me to the hunt. It's like slapped me on the face. Said, yeah, buddy. <laughs> we actually had a spring day today. It was beautiful. All this week, um, it's been like winter, man. Except for today, it was nice and sunny, and we had a bit more of a north wind than a south wind. As if you get a south wind in Melbourne, like down south is the south freaking pole. Oh, what's that? You're a male. You male. You are a boy. Now, are you an angry boy? Oh, you're a chicken. Come on. You're supposed to be a big beef. Let's see if we can uh, walk him in. So it's usually the female that attack and the male turn their uh, back and they run. Which sort of sucks. Uh, it was only a small one, but, uh, you know, would have been a, maybe silver. But, uh, yeah, it would have been worth $1,000 almost. What have we got down here, buddy? Why do you run? Why do you run? Alright, let's just keep walking. 
Right, need another drink. Yeah, so Friday already. This week has sort of gone quick. Which in a way is good. But not good in a way too. Because uh, your life's going quicker than you thought it was. <laughs> uh, what have we got down here? So we're near the water are we already? We are. We are down here already. So that's pretty cool. Oh, look, that area's calmed off a bit. It was a bit more red around here. It's still pretty red there. And of course, it's always going to be red here because this is where I start the hunt. And we usually do get a few out this way. That's why I always start there because you always get them in the morning out there just sitting in the paddock or walking across it. And I uh, just had a male run away. So let's get down here and see what we hear and see. And hopefully, like last week, we had um, a couple attack me all at once. That was really cool. I like uh, the beef because you do get to use the pistol a lot with them. As they will come close, they'll try and kill you. So I imagine uh, EW show on the new map. I haven't um, watched their streams, any of them yet, about this new map. I knew it. I know I said I was going to. I just haven't had the time yet. But uh, yeah, I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> <laughs> Probably it's just not really exciting because all the animals pretty much we've got them all already so i'm not really going to see much new except for the map itself right new sort of area to hunt in now you're all this very old poop mate i like it down here the beef though look at how much poo there is they're just like in the right time of day, they're everywhere down here. So let's uh, have a little walk, see what we can find. I have to go fill my cordial up soon. Oh my god. Alright. Pretty much over my nap now. It was a good nap, I need to do it. Alright, so that is uh, Black Buck Zone. I don't see many mule deer here lately on my hunts. Just, you know, the odd one. It seems like Black Buck has taken over. <laughs> Maybe they uh, had a war and the Black Buck won. Mule deer lost. Now the mule deer are in the hills somewhere, out of the way, and the Black Buck have taken over. They even know uh, the Black Buck are hanging with the buffalo, so, you know, watch out, man. <laughs> Something's afoot. I'm going across here. Ah, not a lot. I like it when you look across there and you just see a whole herd just laying around. It's like, oh yeah. Alright, so I'm going to walk up this way. So I'm going to put a, just a waypoint in case we get turned around. Because sometimes when a beef runs out here, you like you spin around, around, around. You're like, by the time you come out of it, you don't know which way you were pointing. Although, if you're looking at your compass east, it always, I don't know, it does move us, so yeah. If you notice your compass, then, then it'll tell you which way you're going. I wasn't a Boy Scout. I was in the Army res not Reserve, Army Cadets. I was in the Army Cadets when I was a young bloke. They took us away to Pakapanyal, and then they took us out for a, oh man, it's like week camp out in the bush. It was uh, crazy. Kids were cooking the food. At the like, you know, camp kitchen, and there was like four groups, and they were all separated out in the bush in different areas. Oh, it was crazy. So then at night you'd go attack the other camp just for something to do. And one guy fell in the shitter, the big hole we dug for everyone to crap in. And one guy fell in it. I was like, oh, lucky it was the first night, dude. Had it been like the <laughs> fourth night, you would have been covered in it. Uh, what we got out here, man? Nothing. Come on. 
don't want a big zero. That's never fun. But I like this area of the, uh, of the map, though. I really like this sort of watery, swampy... What do you call this? Swampy? Flooded? I don't know. Area? Water's not very deep. You can walk across it. And I like that. Since we can't swim, of course, no swimming. Well, it's when you play uh, like a game like Red Dead and uh, like uh, Far Cry 5. When you go in the water, you can swim, man. You can swim across the water. Imagine that with your guns and everything. And you can get out of the water and start shooting straight away. It's awesome. <laughs> There's a game I haven't played for ages, Red Dead Redemption. Two. I think it was the online bit with any GTA game or Rockstar game, Red Dead, made by Rockstar. Uh, yeah, the the online is just a mess with uh, modders and crazy people. The last time I uh, went on that game, you know, I was on my horse, and I just burst into flames. For some reason. And then, you know, I come back to life forever. I got back on my horse. And I had naked women uh, chasing me. And it didn't matter how many times I shot them, they wouldn't die. And I just kept coming and coming. I just thought, this game is just, you know, the people that do that crazy stuff in the game are just so annoying. Because, you, you know, you just want to go, maybe you're doing the collecting or you're going to do some sort of outpost or, I don't know, some sort of... A capitale mission next minute you got naked women attacking you and they don't die it's uh it sort of drives you crazy what's that there all right our first sign of a beef out this side now i think it's there is a couple actually they're both female we're just going to sneak up and see what else we've got hanging with them oh yeah so many hackers and cheaters. yeah it is it's um this it turns you off the game at least in GTA 5, you can actually go online and have a a solo session or an invite only session. So you're the only one on the map, and then if you know you can invite your friends to come and join you. But on uh, they didn't bother doing that with Red Dead. So you're up to the you know you're in the whole server for everyone else, and if you got idiots in there, well, oh guess what's going to happen? <laughs> and then you just keep server skipping until it stops and then it starts again it's like oh that's it i'm out of here <laughs> uh, you just can't handle it so i'm really you know anti-hacker and modder i hate them you know i don't hate them i just they ruin games it's just you know it ruins people you know having fun in a game and they leave and then you got less people playing the game it's just uh it's a vicious circle. Uh, what have we got here? Did they move? Oh, we just can't see them because they're on low now. There, there you are. Is there any males with you girls? Uh, let's, uh, before uh, Karina tells me something. I got the spray on now. Uh, spray it on. I always forget about the spray. I used to use it religiously. Then I started to wonder if it actually worked or not. And then someone said, if you move, it's not working. But apparently they fixed all that. I thought, well, then if you move, there's no use putting it on. I sprayed me, not not the spot. So, um, you know. But now that I know that it sticks to you, well, then I'm happy. And it has an indicator there to let me know that the spray is on me. Although the wind is good. I just put it on because this game, one minute you're walking this way and the wind's fine, the next minute it's blowing at your back and letting everyone know you're coming towards them. It's like, no, you bastard. I right, stand up for a minute. There. Oh, they, yeah, that's a big male there. This is why we've been sneaking up, guys. Because you just see the first two females, but you've got to 
you know, try and look beyond that. And then with, there is a big male there. We have to get a bit closer and scope him out. So I've slowed down to a slow uh, crawl, whatever you call this, crouch. And uh, we're going to get a little bit closer. I reckon if I come across this way, I might be able to see into their herd a bit better. Uh oh, what are you doing? I, don't, I like being chased, but don't do it now. Don't chase me now. I'm trying to see what's in your herd. And you're going to come and attack me, aren't you? Is it? Is it going to come? There's one there. Or am I just stooging myself? Is it just a big female? Oh, what the f, f did I just do there? I nearly swore out loud. What the f? <laughs> that word I'm not going to say. Although I do let it slip sometimes on my stream. I try not to. Hello? Can you turn and show me your lungs? I am a doctor. I need to test your lungs. Oh. Oh, too much wood. I don't know if we hit it, man. Damn. Got the spray on. The wind's good. More ESP. Oh, looks like we may have hit the lung nut. We've got a good uh, blood spot there. Even though it was running. So cool. I didn't take a second shot because it was just all I could see was wood. We would hit a tree. And, uh, you know, I don't know. No use in that, right? No, put the pistol in your hand after you shoot the bugger. Because sometimes the females will turn around and go, How dare you shoot my man? Ah, uh, it's down. Alright, let's stop running. Oh, I tabbed for some reason. Pulled out the wacky hunter, mate, that doesn't work because it's wacky. <laughs> I thought I saw something move over here. Oh, I saw a bigger beef, mate. Oh, that's what happens. So the female comes and says, how dare you shoot my husband? I end up with husband and wife there. Awesome. I did see a bigger one though, over here, man. It ran off. Now that we've shot the gun, it's run off into the bush. How's that? I was just talking about this happens. Put the pistol in your hand. Hey, how's girls? How you going, man? Good to see you again. Because uh, if the wife gets angry, you'll have to shoot her in the head. And uh, I'm sorry about that, lady. You did clip me, though, on the way down. Um, are you bugged out? Don't you pick up? Oh, there you go. Uh, we hit the brain. The brain, 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 brain. <laughs> it's still done a little damage to me, though. On its way down, it was dead. <laughs> and he's the husband. He's just a, a six. So let's pick him up. Right lung. That's not a bad shot. It was on the run. Uh, that's not too bad. Because I do worry sometimes with my on the run shots. They can get a bit uh, a bit sloppy and untidy. So I'm, doing, I'm just going to park behind a tree for a minute, guys. I've got to go fill my drink. Cause I'm gonna, I'll, if I don't, I'm going to run out of voice. and you know, I sound bad enough as it is. So let's, uh, let's get down near the tree. Oh, I can hear a, what is that? Uh, watch out, the puma's going to come and rip me face off. <laughs> I'll be right back.
Oh, let me put my headphones and stuff on. Yeah, so we actually had a spring day today, which is freaking awesome. Alright. Let's stand up. I reckon they might come back this way. I'm hoping. I'm just going to wait here a little bit. There was like a, maybe a seven, a good gold that ran off. Oh, what's that? Am I seeing things? No, no, they're coming back. We're just going to stay down a minute. The spray's good, the wind's good. So they could have a zone up there. I did see a big fatty run off with big horns. So it looked like it may have been a seven to me. They're two females, so they're no good. Uh, I've got more coming out the side there. They're, uh, once again, probably female. Maybe that big brown one there at the front is a male. I can't spot it. So it looks pretty chunky. That's a female, chunky female. You should go on a diet, lady. You know me. Uh, let me roll a cigarette. I shouldn't be smoking, but uh, I've cut right down. And I'm still weak. I'm weak! <laughs> and uh, yeah, it happens. So yeah, let me roll this. So how you been, Hot Skulls? How's uh, Conan the Barbarian going? And uh, Karina plays Scum as well. I haven't played that game yet. I've looked at a few videos on it. But I sort of, I don't know, I'm a bit past survival games, some of them. If they're too crazy, like Day Z, or Day Z, we call it Day Z here because in Australia we call a Z a Z, not a Z. And, uh, yeah, it's, you can't even find a packet of cornflakes in that game. You end up starving to death sometimes. And I just think, no, nah, that's just way too hard, dude. Like, I want to play the game. I sort of want it to be, you know, you got to survive, but... When you sort of starve to death and you decide, well, I'm just going to run at the zombies and let them decide what happens to me. And it sort of, for me, is a bit of a fail game. <laughs> All right, so the beef went this way. But uh, if they're going the wrong way, which they are, we're going to head this way. And just see what we run into next. And we'll put the pistol in our hand because it's our best friend out in this map. Scum has a lot of food and nature. Oh, that's good. Yeah, well, they, you know, you have apple trees in Daisy. I don't know what else they got now. But the last time I played it, man, I just starved to death. I was starving to death, so I just ran at the zombies. And go, eat me, boys. So then all of us don't starve. So I was lunch for the zombies. I don't know, that was the end of the game for me. <laughs> I thought, no, that's crazy, man. But I used to like the uh, the mod of DayZ with uh, Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead. That's what the mod was connected to. You had to have Armor 2 Operation Arrowhead, I think. And that was the best DayZ. There was more food, more weapons, more people playing it. And man, snipers galore, like it was a meat grinder in some areas, but if you're really careful and, you know, scope things out, you could have a really interesting game. And then at the end, you could lose all your gear. You go, oh, you bastards. <laughs> but uh, at least it just made it interesting. Oh, there they go. Yeah, bastards. Why are they hearing me so much? All right, settle kettles. What is going on, mate? Like I saw a white one in there, it's probably grey. Alright. You know, I'm just walking around, I'm not running cows. What is going on, mate? I 
I have got a couple of albino um, of these things. Water buffalo. I think they're female, so I think I kept one and didn't worry about the other because they were females. And they're a the nice male one. I'm hearing something breathing. Hello? Come and attack, I don't mind. Oh no, it's a black buck running off. So a lot of beef down here today, which is good. I like to see that. And the more I hunt here and sort of, you know, shoot females or males, eventually we're going to find some diamonds uh, running around here. And uh, they'll end up in the lodge. What's that? There's a, there's a beefy, beef arena. Let's go see what's going on, mate. Yeah, so hopefully the weather keeps improving. I'm sick of the winter weather. I have the heater on twice this week. It's November. Next month is December. That is summer here in Australia. Summer. <laughs> Where's summer? Where's spring? God damn you. Now, I'd hate to be in Europe. Um, you guys are heading for a cold winter, I think. What's going on over there, Karina? You got electricity and gas and stuff, have you? As, uh, when you watch the tally here, it's like, uh, winter, uh, Europe's going to freeze this winter. They keep telling us it's doom and gloom for you guys. So hopefully you got, oh, well, you obviously got electricity because you're on the internet here. So hopefully you got gas as well if you need it and uh, everything's fine. Although they're going to charge you like a wounded bull. Huh? Like a wounded buffalo when you get the when you get your bill, mate. They're doing that in Australia too, and we don't rely on anything from Ukraine for power. But oh, they've jumped on the bandwagon and ripping everyone off. And the government's letting them. It's great. Great, great place, Australia. It's a big open air prison. <laughs> I'm still calling it that. Uh where'd the beef go, mate? You're not using the heater, 17 degrees in your house. Well, that's all right. 17's cool. Nice. All right. Yeah, I won't need the heater tonight. I didn't have it last night. Or maybe I had it, I put it on like at 1 in the morning. I went to bed at 4.30, so I had it on for like, what's that, three hours and something? Because my land room here, like the, the room I'm in with the computer, because I'm the only one that lives in the house now, so... Like, the dining room connects to the lounge room, but I turn the dining room into my bedroom, and it's got a sliding door between it, so when I put the heater on in here, I just slide the door open later, and all the heat goes in my bedroom. Because I don't have an electric blanket and crap, so then when I get in the bed, it's not too freezing. But now, hopefully the weather just keeps getting better, and I don't have to worry about that crap, because seriously, I hate cold weather. I just saw something move across the hill. I think they've gone up here. Something there. You are nervous. You have a right to be nervous. Because I am on the map, my friend. There goes another one up there. So I don't want to take that shot from here. We're going to sneak up and see what happens. Yeah, the prices are so high. They are, aren't they? They're ripping us off, mate. This is all... Uh, a caper from them just to rip us all off. It's disgusting what they do. It was funny today because, like I was saying earlier, I, I went and voted early. We have a state election here in Victoria. So I went and done a, I bought some tobacco and I went to Coles and done my shopping. I'm asking this lady when I was, um, you know, they have the self-scan things here. Um, like... Now in Coles, they don't really have many registers open. You've got to do your own scanning. So I was speaking to this lady while I was scanning my stuff and asked her, where, where do we vote here? And she goes, oh, I think it's down near the church. I went, oh, yeah, it probably is. I did, it wasn't the church. It was across the road from the church. Yeah, poverty is on the rise here. Yeah, groceries here too, same. So really expensive, man. Everyone's gone up. So now I rock up to the voting joint and the... A socialist jumps out in front of me with their socialist thing. And I just looked and went, you're kidding, aren't you? 
and just laughed at him. <laughs> then a Labour person jumped out in front of me to give me the Labour thing. I just, I never, you know, I usually vote, try and vote like an independent. I could have voted probably Bernie Finn because I want to get rid of the Premier here so much. I go, liberal, liberal, and the guy ran up to me and gave me the liberal thing. And I just shouted out, Dan has to go. We have to get rid of Dan. <laughs> Everyone just moved away from me. It was awesome. Uh, yeah, piss off if you stupid posters, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like to stir them up, especially the socialists. I just looked at them and go, you're kidding, aren't you? They're always young people too, the socialists. They believe in it. It's never worked in any country. But hey, <laughs> keep believing. Yeah, so I've got my vote now out the way. I won't have to do it on, I think it's next Saturday or the Saturday. I think it's like a week or two away. Now, probably next week. I don't know even know what today's date is. So maybe next week they're going to have it. And hopefully we can get rid of this idiot Premier that we have in power. What is that? What is happening? Oh, they're ducks. I thought it was being attacked. Damn you, ducks. And our hot skulls will know, in Australia here, we have to vote. If you don't vote, you get a fine. Or you've got to have, like, an excuse. You've got to have, like, a doctor's certificate. Or you're on workers' comp or some crap, you know. Once I, you know, years ago when I was a teenager, or 18 or 19, you know, I went out and had a big night. And then I slept all the next day and it was the voting day and I didn't vote. I can't remember what I'd done. I just told them or, or something happened at work. Like I worked with animals. I said a dog bit me and I couldn't go and vote. And they accepted the excuse and withdrew the fine. I went, good, piss off. <laughs> <laughs> the young are socials because they have not had a job and paid taxes yet and they don't really know their history. You know, the people back in uh, Germany in the 30s and 40s, they were socialists. So, um, you know, doesn't say a lot for the socialism in my book. I oh, see that one jump like a like a big mother. It was like a rodeo bull, mate. What is this one here? Go for a headshot, I reckon. Oh, yeah, brain. The other two, oh, there goes another one running off. We did have a male. I saw a male run over the hill. It jumped like a big uh, rodeo cow. <laughs> yeah, if anyone go to the main town today, I keep pulling this out. Why? Because I've got to catch the bus there. I thought I've got to vote while I'm here today. I don't want to come back. I usually have it just down from me. When it's a federal election, when it's a state election, they change it all around. And then I've got to go a couple of kilometres away to do it all. Look at that, straight through the head, mate. Beautiful. Uh, I don't really mind that with animals that aren't gold or bigger. I don't care where I shoot them in the end. I only worry about, like, there's another, is that black buck? Probably a female one. They're everywhere on my map. It's like, it's outrageous. Oh, that could be one that was hanging with the buffalo before. I might have shot one of the females it was hanging with. Uh, these might have been forced down to the water. We're just going to look across here and then look down and, and across here just to make sure. We did see, I did see a big male run across here. This could be its pooperino. Uh, yeah, very fresh. It could be the one. Don't know. So I'd be glad um, if we can uh, get a new dude running the state here. My state is in uh, that much debt. It has more debt than Tasmania, Queensland and New South Wales put together. So, you know, billions and billions of dollars because the idiot who's in charge keeps digging big holes for billions of dollars to put tunnels and all this crap in, mate. Oh, the dude's a dickhead. He's like Bob the Builder. It's like, are you a premier or you're a builder, mate? Or you're always wearing the jacket and the hat like you're out there building. And he's just a knob. It's like, Jesus Christ, I really hate him. I've never hated someone, someone with so much venom. 
My niece goes, what would you do if you seen him on the street? I go, I'd start shouting at him, I reckon. I reckon I'd sort of lose a bit of control. I go, I have to say something. Because, you know, he was the one that locked us down for two years. The longest lockdown in the world, right here in Melbourne. Because of this moron. <laughs> All right, calm down, Glenn. Go, oh, calm down. Bring it down a notch. <laughs> As you can see, I'm very passionate about getting rid of this person, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm just glad I got it out of the way. And now I can move on and game. I can go tomorrow and uh, Guild Wars 2, World vs. World at 1 pm, and uh, hopefully Maguma and Anvil Rock aren't out. <laughs> Opponents. I remember when we had them for our opponents um, the week before the alliances came in. So, you know, we fought them for like a week or two um, with Northern Shiver Peaks and Sea of Sorrows together and another couple of teams because there's always three teams, which is six servers, you know, two joined up together. And then when, I, when the alliances come in, and, uh, you know, I, I go, I won't be with Northern Shiver Peaks because I never am. They just throw me somewhere else because I'm not in their guild. I'm not in, you know, I just pug with them. I just follow follow them around and help fight, but I'm not in their guild. And then, uh, yeah, when the Alliance came in, I was uh, fighting Anvil Rock and Omaguma again. I'm like, this is like three weeks in a row, dude. This is a nightmare. <laughs> and it's only a nightmare because they... You know, manpower means a lot in world versus world. And they have so much of it. And before you get there, they've already filled the map up. They've caught your keep, all your towers. And they load your keep up with people, with siege. And they spawn camp you. It's just like, my God. I've done a little video this week on it. Um, and that's us standing in our spawn. And uh, them shooting a whole bunch of siege and arrows and all crap at us. And, you know, we kill a lot of them. Like, we, you know, we feed on, on their bags for that afternoon. And because uh, we just pull them close and kill them if they get too close. And, uh, but we have to wait till we have enough people so we can run up there and not all die and break all the siege down, break down our keep door and get in and kill them all. It's, uh, it's one hell of a fight, I'm telling you. That's why I love it so much. You're fighting all the time. That's why I love, you know, I love beef attacking me. I love being attacked. I know why. Because then it tests you. <laughs> Am I up to the test? And I like competitive play. So, hence I play a lot of PvP in that game. Like, pretty much all PvP. <laughs> Every now and again I play some PvE. If, you know, in that sort of calm mood and you might want to go do a, I don't know, a fractal or... I don't know, an event somewhere, or just chill. Uh, let me have a drink here. And doing all that has brought me back interested into this game. Because, uh, no, I was a bit, I turned off this game for, I don't know, nearly six months, probably. But I was struggling, like, I've, you know, when I, I've made. 400 and something videos on this game. I reckon when I made video 200 and something, I was already starting to wear a bit thin with this game, a little bit, like it was, I was playing it too much. But I knew everyone liked the video, so I kept making them, but I was still sort of happy to do them. But then I hit a brick wall where I just couldn't do it because I wasn't happy playing the game and I can't make a video about a game that I'm not really happy playing. But hey, a lot of people hung in there. I said I will get back to this game. I did lose a lot of subscribers. Bled a, a ton of them. But then they come back. I'm like that even Steven. I lose a whole bunch. And then next week I look and it's back to the normal number. Then it goes down again. Then it goes back up. So like, alright, I'm just stuck at this crazy number. Which is fine. <laughs> and it's my fault because I keep... You know, I play this game, then I play another game, then I play a different game. People are probably looking and going, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> I 
But there are so many creators for this game out there, you know, so I don't think people would really miss me that much. You can just go watch DD or Flint or Zaggy or whoever the hell is out there nowadays. Some guy called Scarecrow. Uh, they're all out there, mate. Go watch them. Although I doubt many of them hunt beef like I do. As a constant. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's sort of my main staple. Uh, but it has gone quiet. Are we walking the right way? Like, what? A, no, you fucking idiot. Uh, I don't know. I am walking the right way. I've passed that area. Uh, I've got to move the waypoint. Oh, my God. I know we have sort of moved past. What am I doing? All right, we're going the right way. Sorry. I just, i got to waypoint myself. Or else I'm just, you know, there we go. All right, well, I was walking the right way. Hey, Patrick. it's more fun watching than you hunt be. Fair enough, thank you. I can be a little confusing, though. <laughs> there are, they are too serious. I like your gameplay more. Yeah, I don't, I'm never serious in this game, really. Maybe if we see a diamond, I will take a serious shot. I'll be serious on the shot because, you know, I want to get the diamond. But um, apart from that, yeah. This game to me, every game for me is a game. You just got to look at it as a game. Let's not get too worried about it. Don't get too angry. I got, you know, a little secret. When I was um, younger, um, we played in this game. I'll say the name. We played uh, back in the early 2000s, Second Life, and there were armies in that game. Uh, I'm not going to say their names. There was tons of them. I was in a couple of them. And then... You know, I was in one, then that failed, and then I went to another army, and that was my mainstay. I then I ended up joining another one years later. But, um, and then, because you, you have your own land in Second Life, you actually pay for it. Our army would chip in and pay for the land. And then you'd build a base on it, and then the other army would come and attack you. Although physics in Second Life isn't made for shooting guns. The bullets go through walls, through land. Like, the physics are crazy. They're not made for weapons. Although we, everyone, you know, there was tons of weapons and stuff. And, you know, I used to take, that was a nice competitive gameplay to me. Because if you got shot once, then you got shot in the arm, you died. And you were back at the spawn and you had to come back out. Unlike um, COD and Battlefield, if, you know, you get shot with a gun, do do do, and your health will go down, but you won't die straight away unless it's a sniper gun and it hits you in the head. Because I used to snipe in them games and the headshots count because it's just the instant kill shot. But uh, yeah, it was it was fun. But then I took it. I got a bit too competitive, and then it got political with other armies, and it sort of effed up my gameplay for a while. Like I, it went too far, so then I just sort of left and uh, started doing other FPSs. But yeah, that's why I like competitive gameplay. But I got to keep myself in check and not take it too seriously. Which I've learned to do now as I've gotten older. So, but when you're younger, it's a bit harder to keep yourself in check sometimes, as young men all know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And we all live and learn, mate. That probably didn't make sense to any one of you, but I got what I meant. What was that running off? A puma, I think. Paul Ma. We got a couple last time. I wasn't even trying for them. And I was standing around, so we shot them. Uh, we're looking for the beef. Hopefully. We can get it. What is the automatic walk button on this again? R? Uh, is it R? No. F? No. H? No, that's, the, that's that crazy. Uh, that's no hands. There is an automatic button, right? G. There we go. I wanted to do something. I used to know every button in this game. You've tried uh, the game, squad FPS game. Yeah, you've got to be like, you've got to sort of grow up a bit in FPS. Got to go, bud. I have to catch your flight home. Oh, have a safe flight, Patrick. Have a good evening, mate. And uh, hopefully, I don't know where you're flying, but stay safe, man. Up there. I've never I've never flown. A little secret for you people. I've been in a plane, but it didn't take off. 
It was for an excursion with school, and they just showed us, you know, all the stuff, and the hostess spoke, and so we went in a real plane, but it just didn't go anywhere. They just took a whole bunch of kids on there and gave them, like, an excursion. Uh, but I've never flown in an aeroplane in my whole life. I actually don't really want to. I don't care. Yeah, unless I got a free flight somewhere, a free holiday that was going to be awesome. But I've never flown. Ever. So, I have no idea what it's like. I don't know what it's like. You see it on films and stuff, but, you know. would I'd like to feel the, the exhilaration in takeoff. Because I like acceleration. I like big, fat acceleration. It sucks you back in the seat. Or if you're on a motorbike, makes you hang on from grim death. I love that stuff. But I've never done it. Well, I saw your plane squad the other day. And I was thinking, geez, that's uh, it's going to be a game for you to learn. Big learning curve. FPS always is. Oh, you think, oh, I know how to shoot a gun, but it's, <laughs> that's, uh, it's not it. you got to learn the map, the areas, you know, what to do on certain parts of the map, what gun to have in your hand. It's a, it's a big curve. But I used to love it. I used to like playing uh, Battlefield 3. I used to play Metro every night, mate. Every night. And I was playing, um, you know, if I play on European and uh, American servers, I end up getting kicked off because Australia has a big ping. And I got sick of being kicked off. So I went and uh, started playing on Japanese servers. And they accepted my ping. They never kicked me off. Right? I played within the rules. So I'd always play on a metro that you weren't allowed to have grenades or rocket launchers. And I was a free weekend, but you love the guns, uh, but you have to be in a squad. All right, fair enough. Well, you'd like uh, like the games like Cotton Battlefield and that. You don't have to be in a squad. Man, I used to play Metro every night, and then one night, I was like, no shit, I was playing every night for hours, I was getting really, you know, I was already not bad at the game, but I was getting, like, I was just in tune. I was like, I, I didn't even have to think about what I was doing. And then one night, I was on the actual losing team, but I was the best player on the losing team. I got the most kills, the most points, the most revives. It was awesome. It's a good feeling. I've been in the top five a lot, right? Top three, top five, top ten a lot heap of times but I've never been the, the best player on a team and there it was I went yeah man I am in tune I am death just waiting here I'm killing everything mate it was so awesome it's good to be it's you know when you're in that sort of mode it's you don't realize until later and then when I looked I went I'm the best player on my team that is awesome <laughs> I actually screen uh, shot at it Because I think I had a batch name in that as well. Batch something. So, yeah, it was awesome. And with Battlefield 2, I used to play um, the heavy metal map all the time, which was a huge map. I used to snipe a lot on that map. I could add helicopters and everything on it. So I remember, you know... You'd have the big choppers coming and, you know, I'd be sniping. I'd be trying to shoot the driver of the helicopter. Every now and again, they hit him right through the face and the helicopter would go down and kill everyone. And I'd get all the kills. It was like, oh, yeah, man. That's awesome. One bullet and ten kills. <laughs> I might not have been ten. You had the pilot, the co-pilot, two gunners and a couple of dudes who sit in the back. So probably about six people with the one bullet. Which isn't bad. I used to like taking the tags. I remember I was hiding in the bush once. Saying like we're over here. But this is on a big map. It had a big open space in front of me. Rubble and broken buildings. There was a tank coming. Right? 
because I was like down here in a bush sniping. The tank went past me like this, so I just was like this. Then it stopped, right? It had been damaged. And in the Battlefield 2, they could get out of the tank and start, you know, start to weld it at the back to repair it. So I'm like this in the bush. The tank stops. The guy gets out, doesn't really look in the bush and starts to weld his tank. So I just went up and cut his throat and took his tag. Eh? And then the tank took off. He's like, where's my mate? He's like, I killed his mate. So then, you know, the gunner and the driver took off. It was funny. You love singing, so you are looking for a... Oh, sniping, so you're looking for a good sniping game where you can be in solo. Yeah, well, the old battlefields were good. I used to even snipe a bit in Metro, you know, just for something different because everyone was mainly using assault and they wouldn't snipe till the end. But I'd snipe right from the start and give them a good, nice surprise with nice long shots. But then, you know, I moved from sniping, I wanted to do assault as well, and, you know, done that. So I'd like to play, you know, a fair few roles. I was never good at flying the helicopters, though. You know, if I was flying the helicopter, pray, man, because uh, we're probably not going to get shot there, and I'm going to wreck you. <laughs> I'm going to crash into the ground or do something stupid. Because they were hard to fly in Battlefield, man. And in armor, if you play armor three, um, and you're playing squads in that game, um, and the pilot, the only, you know, there was only certain pilots, and they always had to be on microphone all the time, and they could fly beautifully though, because they're hard to fly the helicopters in uh, armor. You know, like they're more precise. But these guys were experts, mate. They were awesome. It was just fun to get in the helicopter and watch what they could do and land you into the LZ under fire and shit. It was just awesome. I used to play that a lot, but then once again, you had modders coming in and they were, you know, they'd blow up the whole airport with all your you know, uh, planes and your helicopters and all your crap on it. And they'd blow up every vehicle on the map. It was just like, oh, my God. So then I stopped playing that because of the modders. Which, you know, like I've done with Red Dead Redemption 2, I just stopped playing because of modders. So I was thinking maybe this summer I might revisit the story or something. Yeah, Armour 3 still does exist. Um, I wouldn't buy it unless it was on sale. There's a ton of freaking DLC for that game too. So you might want to wait till Armour 4 comes out. I don't know when that's coming out, but it must be getting close. Armour 3 has been out for a long time now. It's not a bad game. It's still a bit clunky. Um, to be honest, Bohemian, Make It or whatever they're called. And it's still pretty clunky. And that is a big learning curve, Armour. That is like, for an FPS, it's one of the biggest learning curves I had. Because then, you know, you can go pick your own lowdown at the ammo box. And I used to use the Grenadier gun a lot because it had a underslung grenade launcher on it. So that would give you some extra firepower if there was a bunch of dudes in front of you. You could sort of, if you didn't hit them right on top, you'd kill a couple maybe and spread the rest out. Or make them, you know, go right in the cover. So it was just a good gun to use to, to you know, bust up people in front of you. But then if you carry too much stuff, you move too slow. So the more weight you carry, the, it'll affect you. What FPS game would you recommend for you? Oh, man, it's been so long since I've been out of them, Karina. I don't really want to make it because I'll be going back to old, old games that, you know, maybe hardly anyone's playing now. You know what I mean? So uh, maybe, um, maybe... Because I know people still play this game because it's one of the best uh, ones they've done was uh, the Battlefield 1, the World War Two one. I imagine their uh, servers are still rapid along, pretty rapid fire. But I'd check it out on YouTube and just see what they're doing with it, if people are making videos on it, if there's a lot of people on the FPS, you know, on the multiplayer when they do do a video on it. 
and just make sure it's you know that there's not modders and stuff on it there's going to be some but you know hopefully it's not rampant because that's what happens with them games you get rampant cheats it's like i got the game for free um pug I, uh, one of the companies sent me that game pug or whatever you call it you know where it's a battle royale i've never even installed it because it's just full of idiots i'll go on there and i'll be modded all, all day hacked and everything so i just didn't even bother downloading it i don't know what company sent it to me i think when i bought a one of the nvidia cards or something nvidia sent it to me or something like that one of the companies sent it to me i went okay sent me a game pug which i'm never going to play thanks <laughs> Could have nice of them to do it, but you know, I just never even installed it. It's in my Steam, but never been installed. So maybe you know, I'd you know, it's really hard for me to tell you and recommend a game because I've been out of FPS for so long. I used to play it religiously all the time. I really like it, um, but I don't like the you know, like we're talking about Red Dead Redemption 4, I don't like being modded, I don't like being hacked, I don't like cheaters, I don't like people using aimbots. Uh, that happened a lot in Battlefield 2 on that bad company map because the map was so big, right? It'd be like a, it was like a couple of kilometres long. And you'd have a dude just out of the other enemy spawn camp shooting you from like two k's away and he couldn't even see you. There was no straight line of sight. And I was like, Jesus Christ, using aimbots. So yeah, it's going to be hard for me to recommend a game because I sort of left FPS because all the games I was playing were being uh, infiltrated by nutbags. So, <laughs> you know, I ended up leaving. And every game, like when you are, if you want to be a sniper too, um, you'll go through a lot of sniping guns before you find the one that really fits comfortable in your hand. If you know what I mean? Like just feels like the gun that you want to use and you really you get a confidence with it oh shit i'm talking too much come back i wasn't ready hello i'm still here oh we got another one we got something something here we go here we go oh not dead what about now what about now there we go Yeah, you don't want to spend money, right? And end up in a game full of cheaters. That's exactly right. You don't want to do that because um, you're just going to get frustrated and, uh, you know. Oh, all the shots hit. The first one did hit the, the left lung and the right lung. This one tough freaking animal, mate. Just kept running at me. <laughs> I like that. I just keep walking so we're fine. What is this uh, zone here? Did I check it out? It's a black buck zone. But I don't see why I have an interest in FPS. It is it is fun to fight other people. That's why I do my FPS now, which it's not FPS, PvP in uh, Guild Wars 2. There is the odd um, idiot in there that um, mods, but they get called out really quick because people, it's very rare in that game and people spot it straight away. Um, so it's really rare in that game for that to happen. And I do enjoy the combat in that game because it is very fluent. It's a, uh, and that that's a hell of a learning curve. The combat in that game to get good at it and be confident and know exactly what you're doing at all times. Because if you just miss a button, you're called out. You, you you're down sometimes. So yeah, you got to be really on your toes. And that's probably why I do it. Keeps me sharp. I just enjoy the competitive, you know, competitive play. You have that in Scum too. Some uh, guns you just don't like. Yeah, like when I was snipering uh, all my Battlefield and COD games, I went through a few sniper guns before I found the one that you know I really liked, or the, the two or three that you know I'd use one for a bit longer shooting, one for that was a bit like in the metro, it was closer up, so I'd change the sniper gun out to one that shot multiple sort of bullets that didn't you didn't have to reload. It shot really far. It was really accurate. And it was so easy to use. I really loved using that gun. I probably had my... Mo I can't remember what it was called now. I'd have to look at the list. 
Um, but I had my, probably my most kills, in, you know, for sniping with that gun. Even on, I'd use it at super long range, and it wasn't a super long range sniper. But I was so comfortable with it, it didn't bother me. So, yeah. Gone of those days. So, I used to... I didn't know, I wasn't a YouTuber back then, so there is uh, no, I didn't record anything back then, I just, I was a gamer. That's what I keep telling people, I'm a gamer, I'm not really a YouTuber. I was a gamer who does YouTube. Because if I wasn't doing YouTube, I'd still be gaming. Um, I'm just a, a gamer at heart. And, uh, you know, why not? It's a... Uh, Keeps you occupied. It's better than TV. You can make your own story in some games. Yeah, it's just uh, get out there and do it. Yeah, but I wish I could uh, guide you a bit more, but I'd be too scared to tell you what to buy, and uh, it just turns out to be a, a shit show. <laughs> but in that uh, scum group, some of them people must play some FPS games there. Is that... You know, who got you in the squad, or or you just thought you'd try squad because it was free for the weekend. Yeah, there you go, Korean is a game. Everyone here, Hot Skulls loves his game. Everyone here just, you know, comes in, and their their game is at heart. And you can tell I'm not a YouTuber, because I don't ask people to subscribe. I don't ask people to like my videos. You know, I don't ask anything. <laughs> I was watching a video during the week. I don't know if any of you have heard of Boogie2988. He's been around forever on YouTube. And he's like, a, he used to do Francis, like Crazy Francis. And he does some gaming, but he usually just chats and talks and stuff. And this dude's, you know, he would have made millions of dollars out of YouTube. I'm talking like the views he's had. And he's been around for so long. And he even admits he's made millions out of YouTube. So what he done, he put all his money, right? All of his money, that's what I always say, right? If you're a young person, never put all your eggs in one basket, right? Don't put the whole lot in. Put all his money, that's what he says, anyway, into crypto. And we all know what happens to crypto this week, right? The bottom fell out, and that FTX thing. So now he's begging his viewers for money. So, like, dude, you made a bad decision. And now what? You're putting it on your viewers to, uh, you know, pull you out of a hole that you created? Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. You shouldn't have been so greedy. You shouldn't have put all your money into the crypto thinking that, oh, yeah, I'm going to make more millions. You know, because you didn't, did you? It, you just got effed over, mate. So uh, I just find that uh, I hate when... Uh, even once, I remember a couple of years ago, I was sitting at home, and uh, on the side, you know, on the side of YouTube, someone was uh, streaming, and they had 30-something thousand viewers. Like, who the hell streaming of 30,000 viewers on YouTube? And it was PewDiePie. I thought, I'll go see what he's playing. And this who was playing that game that I got for free, Pug, or whatever you call it, Battlefield thing that, you know, game where everyone kills each other. Um, and he had the super chats turned on. And I thought someone like uh, PewDiePie, every now and again, should just do a stream. Don't have the super chats on. Don't, you know, give something back to the community. Because one, yeah, Pug, Pug G or B or whatever it is there. Because he's a millionaire too. Not that, you know, fair enough to him, but. I just found it a bit like, dude, there's a you know some poor ass dude giving you ten bucks and you're a millionaire. Don't you feel guilty taking it? I would. I'd be like, nah, don't give me money if I'm a millionaire. I'd be like, nah, I don't want your money. But I don't know. I just have different morals, I think, than other people. I'm not saying that uh, PewDiePie has bad morals. It was just I was sort of probably overjudging him. But when it comes to a uh, boogie two nine eight eight. He's made millions off of YouTube and now he's begging his viewers for money. Oh, man, stuff like that sort of gets me mad. I'm like, come on, dude. You've got to be joking, right? You've got to be joking. Oh. 
Oh, it was a little, uh, what's the face? I might have had a beef after me. Yeah, so, um, I found that. Oh, well, it's probably typical boogie, really. At least the, um, Paul Brothers now boxes and uh, do probably less YouTube. They sort of stuffed up YouTube for a while for their antics. They uh, lowered the ad rate on YouTube by heaps just by them being there. <laughs> but now they're boxes. Hey, Theo Selmy. How you going, man? Hope you're having a good one. Oh, there we go. That's a big four, actually. We have anything bigger. At the back, oh, you're crazy. And they got black bucks. Look at that big black buck there. The big male at the back. Look at him. I won't go for him. I, oh, shivers. I might um die. We got the... The, the, the guard has come out to meet me. Ah, uh, you're dead. I'm running because I'm nearly dead myself. Run around a tree. And around a tree again. <laughs> my merry go round. There we go. It's uh, helps me up. I was going to shoot the black buck and then uh, our friend come and uh, had a go at me, which is fair enough. That was pretty cool. He got me. I like that. Let's reload and we'll pick him up. I nearly pulled out the hunter mate again. <laughs> why? I, I don't even know why it's in the game. Here we go. Uh, it's a silver we hit oh look at that first shot was uh would have died anyway you could see the blood come out we knew we hit the lung and we get 1385 that's almost the same price as the mythical we had earlier and i get that shouldn't the mythical be worth a ton more <laughs> uh let's keep walking this way this is where they were so at least the male come and met us this time and not a female which i like Level uh, six. So, have a bit of fun tonight. So, how's the new map looking? I suppose some of you have watched the expansive worlds uh, thing. You're uh, in a dilemma. You moderate 16 to 20 hours a week. You might want to cut that down, mate. You moderate by yourself. I even give him a fifth of. What are you giving money for? No, no, they give people money, mate. He's making money on YouTube. You're moderating for him. He should be chucking you some money. That's a bad deal, Karina. I'm telling you that now. That's a bad deal. And uh, I wouldn't be giving that guy money. You can moderate for him for free. That's fine. But I'll probably cut down your own hours if you're doing that many. That's like a, a, a job. That's a mini job, mate. <laughs> 16 to 20 hours a week. That's that's got to be worth 250 bucks in the real world. Even more, eh? No, I wouldn't give him any of your money, mate. You're on a pension. Don't give away your money. Yeah, you know, he's wrong for accepting it. I'd be saying, no, I don't want your money. You you moderate for me. That's enough. What are you doing giving me money? Uh, it's crazy. So, you got to be strong, Karina. Be strong. And just say, no, you can't afford to give money anymore because uh, you're on a pension, dude. Uh, let's uh, move the waypoint. So, no money should be changing hands. <laughs> Special treatment. <laughs> uh, that's unbelievable. Hey, anyone heard from Skippy? I haven't heard from him for ages. Is he still out there? Although I haven't been in the Discord for ages. I'm never on Discord. People ask me, do I have a Discord? I go, yeah, I've got one, but I'm never on there. <coughs> but I haven't uh, heard from him for ages. I haven't even done, they haven't done a video for ages, Skippy or Haggis or anyone. Have they given up their um, Twitch? 
the old Twitch. I do go to Twitch. I do have a... I am subscribed to some people over there. Every now and again, I go over and uh, check it out. There was a girl over there. She plays Guild War 2. And, you know, she, that's not a bad stream. So every now and again, I watch. And uh, she was uh, trying to get a, a, a camera, another camera. So you could pay her in the, you know, the money you earn watching her video. So I gave her, I don't know what it was, 16,000 bears or whatever it is for her to help get her camera. She reached her goal because it wasn't real money anyway. It's money I get from watching her videos or her streams. So I just give it back to her. <laughs> <laughs> I am keeping well there, Colin. Hope you are too. Yeah, you've lost contact with them because uh, of no content. Yeah, they've got no content lately. Like, I looked at Skippy's channel on Twitch the other night. Oh, they did release a couple of videos on YouTube a month ago or a couple of weeks ago. I think a, a moose hunt. He got a, a diamond moose or something. If I remember rightly. I don't know, maybe they're busy with work. I think uh, Haggis went on a holiday for a while. So he went, came back to Australia. But then, you know, he's left already. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Not a problem. We'll catch up. They wanted me to go on the uh, Call of Wild competition. But I didn't go in it because, I, I, like, I, you know, I'm only just getting back into the game. I don't want to burn out. And once you enter a competition, well, then you've got to grind, right? You've got to grind a bit. Although I'm not really, I'm not a competition person. I don't really care. I know you've got to be in it to win it and all that crap, you know, whatever. I don't care. I don't want to be in it. I don't care if I don't win it. I'm one of them people. As long as I'm out here hunting when I want to hunt, that's cool. Do you think uh, asking for like 20 euro a month for the money would be bad? What, you get 20 bucks or he gets 20 bucks? If he pays you 20 bucks, that's not bad. Because if you're doing 20 hours a week or between 12 and 20 hours a week and you're asking for 20 bucks a month, uh, you're working for like 5 cents an hour. So that's nothing. That's, that's not a hassle to ask for that. As long as... You know, he shouldn't, uh, as long as you're not paying him. Oh, uh, you shouldn't pay anything. You don't pay to mod for someone. It's not a privilege. I don't have modders. I don't need them because my crowd here are, are cool. We get the odd person advertising a sex dating site or something. But apart from that, <laughs> all my crowd are pretty cool. So I don't need mods. But um, yeah, you don't pay to be a mod. He should be paying you, man. And giving you a mention and all that sort of shit. If he's, if he's a bit of an asshole, I I'd, I'd, I'd just... Who cares? Don't worry about him, mate. Yeah, try and support him, but... I don't know. Why? Does he need your 50 bucks, 20 bucks a, a, out of your check for food? Uh, that's his problem. Put a hat outside a supermarket and sit there for sign like every other freaking beggar. And that days, they don't even have a guitar. Remember in the old days, you'd see a beggar there and they'd have a guitar or an accordion or something. They'd entertain you. Nowadays, they sit there for a hat and a sad sign. Oh, something happened to me. Give me money. Uh, piss off. <laughs> <laughs> Because they're outside my supermarkets all the time and they do it in shifts. Like one dude will do it from, you know, 7 to 11 in the morning, then the other dude will come at 11.30 and he'll do it to 2 in the afternoon, then another dude will move in. Uh, they ask me, I just say, I can't help you, mate. Uh, you know, <laughs> after a while, they, they get to know not to ask me. They just give them a weird look. <laughs> Like I saw once an old lady, she had all these bags and that, and she'd give this dude like five bucks in his hat. He didn't even get off his ass and help her carry his stuff to the car. I go, what's the good of you, buddy? You're just sitting there sucking money off old people, and when it's time to carry the stuff to the car, you've done nothing. 
So, you know, I reckon they sort of suck holes when they do that. Uh, you're the one. Five medium. Even though it's a bit sad, but I'll give you a pumping if you turn the right way. Be stuck. Oh, uh oh, I'm uh, going to die. Right, second shot missed. Third shot got it. That one missed. That one hit it. There we go. Alright, still got bullets in this guy. But do you think he earns some money with his channel? Depends on how many views he gets and if he's monetized. How many views would one of his videos get? So I don't really make money. I don't get views. Uh, we've got a bronze. We hit it a thousand times. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's go check the other one. It depends on how many views they get uh, and watch time and if they're monetized. If he's monetized and he's getting a ton of views, he'll be making some money. A couple of thousand reviews a video. And how many videos does he make a week? So it just all depends. Like, YouTube doesn't pay a lot anymore. Not like it used to. Not before uh, Logan Paul destroyed it by going to the Japanese uh, suicide forest and showing everyone dead bodies hanging on trees. I used to make, before he done that, I was making, because I was getting a lot more views back then, I would have been making 600 bucks a month to 640 bucks a month, and then sometimes like 500 bucks a month. But then he went to the Japanese suicide forest, and uh, I was lucky to make a hundred bucks a month after that. As he sort of destroyed advertising for YouTube. And then, of course, the CEO of YouTube let it be destroyed as well. So, I don't know. He streams four times a week, four to five hours. Uh, I don't know, but still, it's enough for you to, you to pay him money because he's a YouTuber. That's not your problem, mate. Now, if you're living with someone and you have a relationship, then maybe you share some money and stuff and food and all that stuff. That's fine. If he's just a YouTuber and you're modern for him, you don't owe him anything, mate. He's lucky to have you modern for him. That's how you got to look at it. He's lucky to have you helping him. You're not lucky. You're doing the work. You're putting in the hours. You're helping out. You're being really nice. So, uh, you know, don't be too nice. You don't give money as well, mate. It's a, it's a, it's a weird circle. And I did shoot a cow up here, didn't I? Did I walk past the blood? I'm talking too much. <laughs> you really only give money because you would love some appreciation. Yeah, but you know. Man, I, I just, I'm happy if people come and watch my stream when I'm streaming it. That's the appreciation. That's what I take from it. At least people are interested enough to come and sit with me an hour or two and, you know, watch me, have a chat. And, you know, that's, that's what a YouTuber needs. That's the appreciation. That's, that's how that works, is interaction with the people that, you know, follow you and knowing that they still watch you and enjoy your videos. That, that's it. For me, anyway, that's it. I don't need anything else from that. I just want to ask anyone to like my stuff or subscribe. Because, you know, there's no use saying that anyway. People know to do that. If they really want to do it, they'll do it, you know. All right, we've hit it vitally. So, hooray. <laughs> Should be dead down here somewhere. He doesn't even talk with you. Oh, then, man, just stop it. Just do the mod. Maybe cut the hours down a bit, and next time you ask for money, just say you can't do it. You got this bill coming. You live in Europe. Your electricity's a billion dollars and the gas. So just tell him no. Everything's going up, mate. Food, power. We were just talking about that before, right? So what are you doing? Paying people money. When you're helping them. Oh, come on. Think about it. 
Make it all make sense, right? Put a line, you there, him there, and in between, does it make sense, mate, what you're doing? And if it doesn't make sense, stop freaking doing it. All right, here we go. All right, we hit the left line. I am shooting not too bad today, i got to say. I'm surprised because I'm, I'm not playing many games that have guns in them lately. So I'm not doing much shooting and a roll of cigarette. He doesn't ask for money but shows special attention to those who do. All right, yeah, of course they're going to do that, I suppose. But um, I don't know, that's up to you. If he's not asking for money and you're giving it to him, then you're giving it to him for something that, you know, that that's you that's doing it. So just stop doing it if you can't afford it, mate. Like, um, yeah, I get the odd super chat and I really appreciate it, but I don't ask, I don't expect it and I don't want people to do it, especially nowadays, people can't afford it, mate. And that's not why I do a stream for, it's not for that either. It's just, I do this now with my second stream today, and guess what? I get out of editing today. I don't have to edit anything. I just have to make, I made two freaking uh, thumbnails. That's it. The rest of my time is doing this, and then once it's finished, I put in the, you know, description, and then I put in the tags and all that crap. I monetize it, I publish it, done. No editing. <laughs> and that's, for me, that's like a little holiday, doing a video where I don't have to edit anything. And that's why live is so uh, good that way. And plus, I get to talk to you on the fly. I get to talk to everyone. They can pop in, say good day. You know, let me know they're watching. And, uh, you know, if they have to leave, they have to leave. That's fine. But I'll know they were here, and I appreciate it. I actually like, you know, I was used to be really against. Skippy had always said to me, oh, you should stream, you should stream. And I go, oh, I just like doing my videos and this and that. But when I did do the, like, the first couple of streams, oh, hang on. That does have a, you know, a different take on on the whole thing and then people can just hear me babble on like an idiot. And none of my videos are ever scripted anyway. When I do a video, video where, that I edit and I don't do a script. There's no, I've never done a script in all my life. So whatever I say, it's just coming off the top of my head. Even when I've done that fake great one. There was no script. I just went out there and made a video and put it all together and we done the fake great one, which was part lion, part bear, part moose, part elk. It was everything. Had uh, rocket launchers coming off it. It was awesome. But no script. So I, I never use a script. Although it probably would help. But then there's more time, right? You've got to sit there and think about a script and what you're going to say. Then you've got to film this whole stuff. What am I? Steven Spielberg? No. <laughs> but yeah, if you're modern for him, I think that's more than enough. You don't have to give money. You're already giving your time. You're putting in an effort. And uh, that's all you really got to do. Does he need modders? Like, I don't understand. Some people have a ton of modders, mods or whatever you call them, in the chat. But the chat doesn't seem like there's any trouble. Seems like they know everyone in the chat, but they got like five moderators in there. It's like, why? Why do you have all these moderators stacked up there for? What are you expecting? An assassination attempt or something? Like, <laughs> what is going on? Oh, there we go. I actually hear something breathing right near me. Oh, it's birds, isn't it? Flying over to their wings. Is there anything big over there? So it's got that female, which I don't really want to shoot. Yeah, unless it runs at me, then we'll shoot it. Not a problem. Love my thumbnail? Yeah. <laughs> I actually had to make a video to make the thumbnail. I do it in uh, DaVinci Resolve. It's easy, you know, it doesn't take long to do. There's a little trick I learnt to put the writing in the picture with another picture in the writing. So it just makes it look a bit more fancy. I might go to Neil. He's a male. 
bit high. Maybe hit the guts on the second shot if I hit it the second time. That might have been a bit high, that shot. Probably the worst shot of the day. Every now and again, I put a bit of effort into the thumbnail. How are you going, Frank? Good to see you. I'm doing good. Hope you are too, buddy. He made you mad. Uh, you're the only one to have to accept a lot of messages by hand because he blocked a lot of words because of those uh, those sites on the average. All right. I don't block any words on my thing, but I do have the thing clicked on that if you start to swear your brain out or whatever, the the thing itself will just block the writing. But I didn't actually put any words in. But I think it, there's an automatic feature that'll just, like if everyone starts putting F and this and F and that, well, the, the actual OBS won't show it, I think. It'll just sort of hide the message. Yeah, but I haven't put any words into this that are banned or... I don't know, because I don't have, like, I don't need a moderator. I don't have trouble. I have the odd person come in with a weird name. They come in every now and again, and they, I have a joke about their name, we have a bit of a laugh, and then they leave, but they don't make trouble. But they have, like, a, a sexually explicit name. But, you know, that's the name they chose, so I don't go off about it. <laughs> they don't, you know, they don't make trouble when they're here, so not a problem. Oh, that, so that is the worst shot of the day. Bang, we hit the shoulder, that thing's not going to die. We'll go over the hill and just see what we see over here, though. But I'm lucky. Like, um, I don't need a mod. Everyone that comes here, they all know me. We all have a chat. I get your feet. Oh, hello. You're stupid. You're gonna die. Oh, oh, more feet. More feet. Load guard, load. You shoot two bullets and it loads 28. Oh. Hit you in the butt. Oh, I ran out of bullets. Well, they're both injured, and this one is vitally injured, so we'll look at this one first. All right. I had a loose tooth the other day when I made the first uh, video of uh, Sea Skylines. It was really bad. I didn't want to make a video. I hadn't made a video for a while because I had this loose tooth. I couldn't talk properly. Blah, 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 you know, I was like, oh, effing hell, mate. The other night, the tooth fell out. <laughs> it just fell out. I'm like, oh, great. It was good. It felt good. I was glad to get rid of it. I go, good. Get out of my mouth, trash. Oh, look, we've got two bodies here. So looking good so far. Oh, we've got three. <laughs> They're all lying in a row. So I was going to make a joke that I rang the dentist, right? And I was speaking to the receptionist on the phone. And I told her about my tooth problem. And I go, you know, can, can you reckon you, you'll be able to see me today? And she walks away for like a, a minute. And she comes back and she goes, 2.30. And I go, yeah, I know, my tooth hurts. But there's no use to talk to me like I'm a five-year-old. She goes, no, 2.30. I go, yeah, I heard you the first time. She goes, you know, two o'clock and then quarter past two. 2.30. I went, ah! Oh. That, that would have just been a joke. Uh, a shit joke, but <laughs> one nonetheless. But I didn't go to the dentist. The tooth fell out by itself. It's like, you know, when you say to someone, you go, oh, I've got a, a dentist appointment. They go, oh, yeah, what time? I go, 2.30. <laughs> 2.30. Oh, it's funny. Small things amuse me sometimes. I must, must have a, a thing about my... Maybe I'm a bit of a small brain person. I don't know. No, I just like um, a bit crazy humour sometimes. And black humour. 
you know, I'm one of them people, you know, if someone dies, I always go, is it too uh, soon they have a joke about that person? Yes, it's too soon. I'm like, oh, okay. As long as they have some beauties. But, yeah. Let's find some more beef. What did I call this video? Oh, there was beef on the front. In the title, I think I put, um... Oh, beefalo. <laughs> That's right. Beefalo. Because all my uh, subscribers know when they see beef, they know when I'm going to be um, hunting, right? So it doesn't matter. It's going to be one of the either bison, cape buffalo, or the water buffalo. I'm talking of bison. We might actually go to Savannah in a minute. Right? We might go check out the, the big cape beef, the biggest beef in the Call of the Wild game. The Grand Slammers, we might go check them out. But last time I was there, I just couldn't find any. So I haven't been back. I'm a bit worried that they reset my map and forgot to book Cape Buffalo on it. And then if that happens, I'm going to be so upset. I'm going to write a letter, mate. I'm going to write a letter to Beard or someone. <laughs> if there's no... Uh, they'll, be, they'll be on there. But I won't be happy if they're not. I'll be like, what the hell's going on, mate? Um, actually, um, that, um, Tree Kiwi has a Twitch channel too, because when the classic Halloween was on, I was just, the uh, I, I don't know, it popped up on the thing, and I went, oh yeah, so I, I checked it out, and it was, uh, Tree Kiwi hunting, uh, on a, the Australian map on Halloween. He wasn't bad, I liked him, out of all of them. I like um, Beard, because like, he was like one of us, and then became a, you know, a game and person. He works for a company now, so good luck to him. He's making money out of gaming, although he's working for it now, right? It's not like I'll make a video whenever I want to do one. <laughs> no, <laughs> he has to work for his cash now. Although he used to work, right? He wasn't making a ton of money off his YouTube, because he's got a family, and you know? he's got to support them, so he needs a real job. Unless he's, uh, you know, like Flinter status, then, or um, even like DD33, that's his job now, would be a YouTuber. So he puts out a video and the same day it like has 11,000 views and then it probably gains another, you know, 10 to 6,000 over the, the second week. So he'd be making a good, uh, you know, a bit of a good wage off of YouTube. And good luck to him. He's a decent guy, actually. I, don't, I think he's probably one of the only ones. I never watched Call of the Wild videos. Surprise, surprise. And I don't want to. It's because I don't want to pick up other people's habits. And I, I really... Sometimes I'm not interested in what they're doing. Because I'll be doing something completely different. Not that there's anything wrong with their channels. But every now and again, I will drop in and see what DD's been hunting. He's always after mule deer or something. I like his titles. It's like his, his seven-year-old uh, sister wrote them. <laughs> his titles always make me laugh. And I'm thinking of like he's, he's hired a seven-year-old to write them, to write the, the wording of the title. <laughs> My greatest hunt ever. It's always something like that. Good luck to him. It's probably eye-catching and that, but it just reminds me of... You get your seven-year-old sister. What do you think this one should be called? <coughs> no offense if you ever hear that. Uh, it just makes me laugh. That's all. And it's a good... It gets him a lot of views. So he knows what he's doing. He knows the algorithm. I give him that. And probably his content too. His name's out there. DD33. Although, that, you know, in Australia, DD33 is a bra size. So his channel is named after a bra size. I don't know if DD33 in, uh, I'm sure in America, is that is that a bra size? <laughs> I've never named a YouTube channel after a bra size. <laughs> that's what it is in Australia, like DD33, or because you know, that's double D33 or double D36, they're all bra sizes, boob sizes. So I don't know if that's what it means in America, because I know he's from America, so... Maybe I'm just barking up the wrong tree, right? Maybe I'm just, I just got it wrong. But uh, in Australia, that's what it means. But fair enough, I call myself the lone game. I didn't use batch in, in, in the 
because at the time I had a lot of people from another game that you know weren't too happy with me. Um, so I thought I'll just keep it to a name that doesn't describe me as a person. <laughs> I did, you know, I'm a lone gamer, but um, I didn't use my actual nickname in the in the channel name for for reasons. So, <laughs> but I'm glad I didn't. Now, you know, uh, lone gamer that, that's cool enough. For now, anyway, should will do. <laughs> what else am I going to do? I've named the channel now. When I made the channel, I just made it really to make videos so my niece could look at it sometimes. And, you know, it wasn't, I wasn't ever going to be a, like a, I never thought I'd have a more serious channel. But then my mum died. I was her carer for like 10 years. And uh, around 2015, uh, she died and uh, I don't know I was in a hole I sort of felt lost so I just sunk all my time into making uh, videos and stuff and I'm probably still a little I haven't I've probably sunk in a bit too much time into it and you know I'm probably still a little bit lost but that's my problem But I got really nothing to complain about, so and I got a roof over my head, so ah, I worry about it. All our mums died, mate. Our mums died, our dads died. All my parents are dead now. It was really hard though. Like I was the only one with her in the room when she died, and I was holding her hand. Oh my god. But yeah, I don't want to think about that anyway. Oh yeah, that's uh, the reason why I probably then after that, you know, you get lost and you sort of feel really alone. And then I thought, well, I love gaming. And, uh, you know, if I, I just downloaded like, I don't know what, at first I probably, the first time I'd done it, when I wasn't too serious about it, I was using the free fraps. Then of course the, the you know, the OBS thing come out. I was using Shadowplay for a while on my NVIDIA card, but then the editor I'm using now, DaVinci Resolve, at then, I don't know if it still does, conflicted every now and again with the sound that the Shadow player is recording. You get like these big uh, uh, weird sounds, you know, like scratchy sounds in the audio sometimes. And I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to not use Shadow Play because I wanted to use the editor. So I'll dump Shadow Play and then started using the OBS. But yeah, now I like to, uh, you know, I think I'll, I'll be doing this to the, you know, till I can't do it anymore, anyway. Although, you know, I still enjoy uh, doing YouTube, although I actually don't like YouTube as a company. <laughs> but there's not many YouTubers who do like them as a company. You know, if someone else made a better platform that was popular, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd leave the content that I got here, here, and then I'd just move, and I'd go to that new place. But we don't have one. Like, we got Rumble, and you have BitChute, but they're, I don't know, they're, they're not YouTube. They're just different. I don't even know if they have gaming on them, them uh, sites. I think it's all political and other stuff, so, you know. Yeah, gaming is helping escape real life. It does. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Frank will watch till he can't anymore. That's good news, Frank. We're, we're both in there, mate. Till we can't do it anymore. Hey, phase gens. How you going? What does the phase mean? I always see like the phase clan and some phase. What is it have? Does F A Z Does it have a meaning? Or is it just. I don't get what is it what everyone's like the phase clan what does phase mean like i'm older so maybe i'm just not getting it i should have asked my niece she's 17 she might know what it is but does it mean something or is it just a, a name that people like to use oh, i'm probably sounding really stupid now just when i saw the name i've never had a phase come to my channel good to good to have you here snail rancher hey on, man good to see you bud i did make another I destroyed uh, my city and city skylines that first video. 
I went downhill after the video, and uh, I've, I've made a new city. <laughs> We've called it uh, Bogan's Run. And it's, uh, yeah, something different. I thought I'd do this tonight, because I haven't done a hunting for a while. I didn't leave that one the other night. I was really in the mood, but then I was really tired. And I thought, if I do a stream when I'm really tired, they're always bad streams. So I'm sort of like half, <laughs> you're trying to talk and stuff. That's why I had the sugar before I started this, Karina. As I just come up from a nap, I go, I think I need sugar. <laughs> and it'll help me out. What have we got? That's a, I don't know, that's a bush. That's a, that's a big fat cow over there. A big fat bush. All right, so what I reckon, we've shot a lot of beef. We're gonna check the tent here. Here, where's the other tent? Here, and if I can't see it in here, we're gonna go and see if we can find something on Savannah. See if we can find us a Cape Buffalo, mate, or a lion to uh, execute. All right. Let's listen. So we can, uh, so we can see. But uh, maybe we should go and have a look at the Cape Buffalo. I've been scared to go there. Only because, like, I went there, I couldn't find any Cape Buffalo. Couldn't find tracks. I couldn't find poo. And the map had just been reset. I'm like, oh my god, is there Cape Buffalo on my map? <laughs> Are they punishing me? Nah, it's just I just couldn't find it. So I'm hoping that's all it is. I couldn't find them. <laughs> so we're going to do that now. So we press M. We press H. And we look here to Varonga. Do we click it twice? There we do. We do click it twice. So I'm just going to get some more bullets for me close up gun here. I think I'm down to 50. We started, I think, we only had 68 or something, 70, but um, that yeah, needs some more. Cape's um, now on the coast, not inland. Oh, maybe that's why I couldn't find a map. It moved them, you bastards. Have you told me? <laughs> How dare you? All right, so we're going to go to the store, which I was in, and we're going to look at handgun ammo. And we're going to go slow, because my eyes don't work sometimes. Here we go, 454... Hard cast, baby. Uh, they need here that I can just go, I want one, two, three, four, five packs. Not have to buy them individually. Other games have that in. It is not a hard thing to put in a game. Please. Fix that. And we'll go to rifles and the 300. I think I need some bullets for. No, that's here, idiot. See? Not enough sugar yet. <laughs> oh, too much. A couple of donuts done it. Here we go. Polymer tip. How many of them do I have? How many? A hundred for it. We don't need too many. Ah, uh, that, that's cool. We're good. All right. Now we're just going to look at the core. Do we? What? No, I don't care about cores. We're going to call all us folks, and we're going to change the time probably. Let's look at this down here, though. Every now and again, there used to be Cape Buffalo here, but that, that ain't the coast anymore. All right, let's go in here. And I hang on, we'll go to a tent, because it's cheaper to change the time. So do you mean like here, like down here, the coast coast? We'll go to this tent. Let's see what's going on, mate. And we'll change the time, because the time flies in this game, man. It's just, before you know it, it's, a, it's going crazy. All right, it's quarter to seven in the morning. I need another cordial in a minute. I'm drinking it down like it's going out of fashion. And once again, I've spoken so much today. My second stream. Um, no way I'll talk this much in a whole week as what I would have talked today. And you tend to do that when you live alone. You don't talk as much because uh, there's no one to talk to. And if you start talking to yourself, that's okay. If you start answering yourself, you're crazy. So be careful. <laughs> uh, let's see what we can find. 
We don't want to be crazy. Ah, oh, that's a little bit crazy. Not too bad. It's not too crazy. This is your favourite spot for beef? Yeah, I used to get them a lot along here. Usually in the afternoon, though. We're here in the morning, so we'll see what happens. They sometimes pile on down here at the test tube sort of bit. You've got the hunter's oh, I do, buddy. Follow those tracks. All right, mate. What tracks? Which ones are you talking about there, bud? I think you've been on the crack pipe, mate. There are no tracks here. <laughs> That guy reminds me of Nelson Mandela. I always think it's Nelson Mandela talking to me from the grave. <laughs> Did anyone watch that funeral? Do you remember Nelson Mandela's funeral? And they had the deaf guy there doing the deaf language. He was fake. He, it was a fake deaf man. It was a, you know, how didn't they not spot that? I spotted it. <laughs> <laughs> You started at five in the morning, beef, wildebeest, and pigs and rabbits. Oh, I started a bit later, but I uh, will see what happens. It's nice down here. I do like this map. It is a beautiful map. I think they've done an excellent job of it. It is very good looking. Although I don't, I know they said they worked on the graphics. I don't notice anything different. Is it the water or something they worked on? They made it shine more or something. It looks the same to me. Maybe there's more reflection or something. I don't know. Well, I probably didn't take much notice the first time. Do you think the zones have changed? Yeah, I think that they have. Like I was saying earlier on the other map, the black buck now seem to be all down where I'm hunting the beef. And I never used to find them there. I never used to find black buck around there. I find a ton of mule deer. You know what I mean? But now I don't see mule deer there. I see black buck. So they have changed locations on some of the animals. Or they've spread them out more, or they've done something. You really have bad frames on the African map. I used to have bad frames on late in the lakes. To the point where I just stopped playing it for ages. Like I didn't even make a video on it. Because I'd go there and the game would crash, it'd get framey. It'd just be a nightmare. And I'd, I'd be trying to make a video. And in the end I went, nah, that's it. <laughs> F this map, mate. Uh, apparently now that's fixed, but yeah, I, I don't have a problem on any of the maps at the moment. Although I don't go to many, I just go to really the beef maps. I still got to play the new map, or the the Finland map. That's still new to me. Yeah, they moved the black bucks and the axis deer. All right, cool. They pro probably should just spread them all the animals out a tad more. So no matter where you walk, you might bump into one of the animals that live on the map. Or a group of them, or whatever. Buffalo would uh, used to come when you used the short weasel. Oh, that snort thing that you call... Yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe you've got that trait on the, where if you use a different call or a different animal can come. I don't have that on my thing. I never changed my traits, whatever I've sent them for, that's it, I've just left them. I don't think it overly affects me in this game anyway. As long as you're just shooting straight, that's, that's the main thing in this game, shoot straight. And uh, you'll be cool. Damn you beef. What is going on, mate? Why is, why is it beefless? I might have to move to a different part of the coast. Now, I used to have uh, tents and stuff around this map a fair bit, but uh, as we all know what happened with stuff like that. Oh, we've we'll got a picture here now. Do, 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 do. Look at the tusks on the wild boar. And they're not that big, man. Or maybe the odd one. Is the, What happened? We're just moving, fast traveling. All right. That's that's pretty weird. <sighs> <laughs> Gaming and the uh, and the hunting dog, yeah, the hunting dog. I've put my dog back in the in the tent because it just ran around like crazy. Uh, I'm just gonna stand here for a minute. I'm just gonna go fill up my cordial. I'll be right back in a minute.
I don't know why I put the gun on my hands. I'm not here, so I'll, I'll be dead anyway. But it just looks good. Might scare the beef off. I doubt it. Has there been a fire? I don't know what fire. Third cup of cordial, I'll be off my face. <laughs> no, I won't, it'll be all good. This is non alcoholic cordial, of course. It's safe enough for the kids to drink it. Uh, what am I doing here? Uh, let me look at my map. It's nearly Christmas, folks. It is nearly Christmas. Do you believe that? It's, uh, you know. I like Christmas, but Christmas means I'll be cooking all day. I'm the cook at Christmas. I'll cook it all morning anyway, into the sort of early part of the afternoon. I always hope, because in Australia it's summer, because I'm cooking, I, I just don't want it to be like 38 degrees and stuff. I go, yeah, please just be about 20, 25 would be fine. <laughs> it's super hot on Christmas Day. Although last year, we I done a... Um, I had the Weber going too, and I'd done a really nice, um, like a chicken in the Weber. Man, they come out good in them Webers, I tell you, it was beautiful. I bought way too much food, but it was all good. Is that, all right, oh, that's a freaking pig. Come pig, I have the gun for the pig. Man, let's even find some beef around it. Bush Valley used to be good for beef because we are near the coast and then they'd go up there and mingle in the in the scrub and herd up and eat grass or whatever the hell they do. But see, no poop. We need to see the pooping steins. Well, let's going to keep travelling around the coast till we find them. Oh, no, that's the pig. I'd shoot the pig. Hello, pig. Where are you, my friend? Should I take that off? Should I put this on 75? Come, my friend. This gun actually has good iron sights. I don't mind them. It seems like you'd be pretty accurate with the iron sight close up. But as long as the pigs here, they do try and kill you. And every now and again, they, they just run away. You get the odd one who uh, says, F you, mate, I'm going to attack you. Oh, my God, I can't see any beef, though. This Last time I was there, I, couldn't, I just couldn't find them. Couldn't find tracks, couldn't find poo. I started to worry that, oh, no, I have no beef. As I kept the water buffalo in the same spot, they didn't really move them. So I'll find them exactly the same where I used to before the reset and the updates and all that stuff that they do. So I don't have a problem with them. And same with the bison, I find them in the same areas that I used to find them. But the Cape Buffalo now is a mystery. It's a mystery wrapped in an enigma. Whatever that <laughs> JFK movie, you remember Joe Pesci? He played a good part in that movie actually. A real weirdo. He really suited the the vibe that he played. All right, I'm moving again. Damn you, Bush fella. We'll just check this tent while we're here. See what happens. 
I'm opening my pants, I'm home. <laughs> no, only joking. Uh, uh, which way am I facing? Uh, so there's a bit of waypoint there. We'll just walk down that way a little bit. That's why this tent was here. I'd come to this tent, then we'd find the, the beef around here. And I was like, oh, cool. You didn't have to really work hard to find them. And I do have the wrong gun in my hand. That's because the pig made the noise. But yeah, we're going to have to travel around the map, folks. Until we find the, the beefarino. They're a beautiful animal, the Cape Buffalo. Wouldn't want to meet one in real life, would you? Like when it was angry. They'd just freaking kill you, mate. Have you seen the one, um, I think it's Kruger National Park in uh, Africa or wherever the hell it is. And the crocodiles, right, they grab this freaking uh, baby like Cape Buffalo. I think it's a Cape Buffalo, I'm pretty sure they are. And it's sort of dragging it into the water. And there's these like four lionesses, mate. And they grab the other end of this freaking buffalo. And there's a tug of war between the crocodile and the freaking lions. The lions win. They drag the, the little uh, baby buffalo away from the crocodile and they, they got it on the, on the shore then. And there's this one cape buffalo that looks back, right? And he's had it. He, he's in that mood where, nah, you're not doing it. And he runs towards the little uh, buffalo and stands right next to it. And he's going at the, you know, putting his head down. And the lions, like, come up to him and start to swipe him. Then, like, another three buffalo going, ah, you're not doing that. And they come over. Then the whole group of buffalo come. I think one of them headbutts a lion and just tosses it through the air like a rag doll. Man, they just sort of, then the lions back right off. And the little buffalo eventually gets back up on its legs and walks off with the whole group. <laughs> On your, on your map, there is a great buffalo spot down on the west part of the south coast. Now you've confused me. <laughs> the west part. Because I don't have a... Um, what is wrong with my map? I don't have a, a compass here. So west, go west. This is west here, right? If we're, I'm just doing it from right. So south, north, east, west. Is that west over there? Bottom left. Like here, or here, we'll go here first, that's bottom left, right, by the outpost at the bottom, right there, that's the little, oh here, that one, we'll go there first, if we've gone the wrong one, we can re-travel. Yeah, if you ever, it's on YouTube, I think it's Kruger National Park, and it's the lions versus the crocodile versus the buffalo man it is just insane and this poor little buffalo <laughs> getting beaten up by everything but then they come and save it oh this is the right one all right no worries I just, uh, so the coast is sort of which way will i walk though or doesn't it matter it's sort of down towards the coast oh i heard something oh you are right to my friend we are hearing the beefs Let's uh, walk this way. Beautiful. Found him. Found him, mate. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, remember this spot. So, Dzonga. Uh, that, there's a meme right there. Dzonga. You're joking me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Let's do this for a minute. Oh, that's a funny word. So, yeah. Um, good to be back in this game anyway. Slowly getting back into it. I just don't want to rush myself and burn out again. It's a horrible feeling because you want to make the video or do the stream and you just, inside you don't want to do it, but you want to do it. It's sort of like a really weird feeling. And uh, I'm glad I'm back into it actually. I need a break every now and again from, you know, world versus world. <laughs> I'll go insane in that game. Well, I do love combat, so, you know. Alright, am I walking the right way? We're walking this way, right? 
If I may, I get turned around every now and again. That's why every now and again you'll see me just place a waypoint down. It's just so if I do get turned around, then I know exactly where I wanted to go. Because I never pay attention to my compass. It's down on the right-hand side of my map. Oh, hello. I know what that sound is. You've got a big moustache on your head, I hope. Big Mario moustache, mate. Oh, you run it! Don't run away! I don't want to use the long gun. I can't. I'd prefer you to come and try and kill me. It'd be nice. That was a male too. Oh, he's run all through there somewhere. There, there goes another one. There goes another one. So we'll cut. We might end up being able to box them in a bit and scare one to make it uh, come after me. I'm hoping. That's it. Get mad. Get upset, mate. I'm in your land. You're like, dude, you got to get me out of here. I'm a crazy human. This should be as oh it's a scrub hair zone i've even got that on this map i hardly hunt them they are fun though if you bring out a shotgun or a 22 or something and you go up to the other part where just the jackals and the rabbits live it's pretty fun or maybe they've moved them now maybe they don't live there anymore can we see you you're below the ridge aren't you there's you there you are there don't run away dude I can see him, he's, uh, he's moving there. Oh, that's a big sound for someone who's not going to come and attack me, mate. Oh, we have found a beef anyway, let's see if we can... Uh... There goes another one. I'm watching them, the big asses run off up the hill. You got big butts. <laughs> You got big butts, you can't lie. Do, 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 do. I don't remember that song. Oh, there's a red one. Red butt. Uh, the jackals and hares are still on the mound. All right, but there are loads of uh, spring boxes. Oh, that's all right, because this would be like jackals and hares, and that was about it up there near that cave thing. It was a cool area, though. I used to ride the ATV through the cave and that. Sometimes, just for something to do. Although the ATVs in this game really need some work done on They need to be like the ones in Far Cry 5. Where it actually feels like you've got power and the, the thing's doing something and you're getting somewhere. <laughs> no offence, CW, but I don't think you can make vehicles, mate. I think you, you's a, <laughs> you've failed vehicle 101 or something. Vehicle coding 101. Was giving on me. Am I looking at a beef there or is it just like a bush? It can't be a beef, it's too big. What am I looking at? Nothing. That's usual for me. I think I'm looking at something and I say, nah, it's nothing, man. See how the water buffalo, though, are more aggressive? I think they're the most aggressive um, beef, and then the bison. And then these. Every now and again, these. I, th I think they calm these down a bit. Because I used to hunt these all the time. And a ton of time, I would be attacked like a heap. Uh, a lot of times, I'd bring this gun and that nitro gun. I didn't need a long gun. Because they'd come and attack me, mate. I'm complaining again, sorry. <laughs> The guy running the angler fishing game apparently has developed some racing driving games. Well, what's going on with the... Oh, no, he probably wasn't here when they done the ATVs. When I looked at the Jeep in that fishing game and they drive the Jeep, it just looks so weird. It doesn't look natural. It's like it's moving across the road, you know, in a weird way. But maybe it's just me. Because when I play a driving game, I like the... You know, like if you get in the GTA 5, 
the cars, you know, and you get in a GTA 4, they act different, but you get used to it, and it acts like a car. In GTA 4, they sort of act more like a car should act. In GTA 5, they're a bit, you know, cars don't really act like that, but then you just get used to driving them, and they go fast, and you have fun. As long as you have fun. <laughs> now, we're following, uh, now the, the buffalo's turned into a rabbit. Watch me pull a buffalo out of me hat. We've got a magician on the map. Come on. <laughs> What's going on? I'll end up with the rabbit attacking me, like in um, the classic. He's so vicious in there. That was the hardest ones to kill because I was so small. But yeah, I spent a lot of money on the, the classic. Not that it matters, but just to buy that shotgun. What was that? 17... Thousand GM. I think I had twenty something thousand GM, and now I've got seven thousand something GM. So yeah, it's uh, it was an expensive hunt, <laughs> but I'll have that shotgun for next year, so it's all good. Because I'll probably only use it for the werewolf and stuff. I usually don't use a short barrel shotgun for <laughs> for hunting or a sawn off shotty, whatever you want to call it. A bank robber's specialty. <laughs> That's what the bank robbers used to use. Now, years and years ago, when there were more banks around, in the city I live in, there, there was there's a mall. I was down there today. I hate going there now because it's just there was cops there. They were arresting some people. It's a real watch your back type area sometimes. But there used to be a bank down there. And it was Christmas time. You know, it was like December twenty or something, and there were two Santas in the mall. And they went out the front of the bank and they had Santa sacks and the whole Santa uniform and the big beard and that. And they went in the bank, right? And the people go, oh, look, Santa's in the bank. Ho, 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 and that. And they reached into their Santa sacks and they both pulled out guns and said, fill up our sacks. And they robbed the bank and these two dudes never, ever got caught because no one could recognise them because they had the big Santa beards and the hats and the suits on. They got away with it, man. Two Santas robbed the bank and got away with it. Merry freaking Christmas to them, eh? Oh, look, I thought you were going to come. Oh, we hit the tree. Try and hit it in the butt to make it angry. Ah, I missed some chat there, sorry. There were... There were... The, uh, there were murder. Do you remember when you could be trampled by Jack Rabbits if he were prone to unlighten. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I'm not sure if I ever got trampled by the rabbits, but I like all the animals to be able to attack, you know. Especially the beef. I don't like them running away. It actually annoys me a bit. Uh, you know, you want the odd one to turn around and say, nah, you don't belong here and attack me. But I think there could only, there's only a few of these beef here, so they might not be too aggressive. We found off the water buffalo today. They're, they're still very aggressive, which I like. They're, they're the best ones. Them and the bison will, will attack more readily than these nowadays. I'm not sure why they've calmed these down. They're, they're your premier beef. This is the this is the prime beef right here, the Cape Buffalo. All right, there. We're going for a long shot, man. Because uh, this little uh, beefarino aren't playing the game. Oh, you turn sideways for me. Do it again, buddy. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Uh, I might have hit it twice, so I'm not going to shoot again. I could have been tricked and I could have shot each of them once. <laughs> no one seems to be going down, though. Was that a bad shot? What's happened? There are some aggressive birds on Finland now. Well, that's, uh, I'm going to have to pay a trip to Finland and see if I can get killed by a duck <laughs> or grouse or something. What do they have on there? Geese? and They have a lot of birds, don't they? See if a pigeon can choke me. Uh, did we hit the beef? The shot looked good out of the barrel, but uh, you never can tell. I've got a little bit of blood back there. Let's mark it. And it's living in, that's not the original shot, right? Please. There's got to be a bigger one back here. Oh, no. I've crappily hit this. 
This is a craptacular shot. Oh, come on. I have failed. That's the worst shot of the day now. I know when I shoot bad. It looked good, but it didn't, uh, wasn't good. It's, it's female too. It's not going to die, is it? You will not die. It's uh, not a good enough shot to kill a KP. I think we've got a red one up here. Yeah, look at it. See that fat butt running up? There's another one there. I wonder if they're going to work their way back down. Oh, spray. Hang on. Sort of a big grouse. All right. Kappa, what do you call it? Kappa Kelly. That's a weird name, isn't it? I always call it a weird chicken, mate. Apparently everything tastes like chicken. <laughs> You watch them shows in Australia you know, and they cook it up a snake. They go, what's it taste like? Oh, a chicken? They, they, they do a crocodile. Oh, what's that taste like? Oh, it tastes like chicken. Oh, for now, just go eat a chicken, mate. Stop killing the wildlife. Go kill a chook. There's millions of them. Oh, I need mythical. Oh, you big fat bastard. Calm down, mate. What are you doing? You're doing motocross. I <laughs> see him jump across that thing. It's a motocross buffalo. Damn, we got an eight. We got an eight mythical uh, with the water buffalo. Be nice to get you. Can you stop running? I want to shoot you in the butt because it's just I'd rather not even take the shot. Oh, you just. I'm gonna sit for a minute. Come on, come back down the hill, buddy. We're just gonna s sneak now. We're gonna be very sneaky. We can go to fast crouch. Should be cool. Maybe the Cape Buffalo VSP as well. They're psychic, man. Oh, that's... Yeah, let's just stay here a bit. Let's break through the grass. All right, get the grass out of our lens. Now let's just watch him for a minute. He might calm down, and if he walks down into here, we've got him. Well, we hope. If I shoot good, <laughs> unlike that last shot, we got him. And if, if he doesn't do it, well, then at least we saw one. <laughs> he will run. I know it's someone trying to be quiet and not move now. He's still there. He's hanging, mate. If we just calm it all down. Oh, come on. So I don't have my gun set where I can spot them with the gun because you can't do it in real life. You can't even do it in real life with these. But I'll leave it on the binoculars because I don't think you can take it off the binoculars. Oh. That's a sneaky one through the trees. It was only the one shot I could take, so... Let's see. If we hit the lung, we're good. It will die. If we missed, uh, it won't die at all. But I was going to take the shot. You know, if we F it up, well, uh, who cares? Look good. Look good. Yeah, the other one looked good too. But <laughs> it doesn't mean Jackie Chan, mate. That's how it hits out the other end, mate. <laughs> I'm catching a cold. No, I'm not. It's probably that other thing that's going around. No, it's not. I've already had that a thousand times. How many times can you have that stuff? <laughs> and live through it. Live to tell the tale. Oh my God, I'm awesome. All right. Where's the blood? Oh, it's a big blood, mate. I am awesome. We've done it. <laughs> We've got us another eight mythical today, and it's going to be a good one. We didn't stuff the shot up this time. Oh, I've got to find the next blood. I'm running. No, I'm going to walk now. We're going to walk. And uh, in case we don't want to scare too many beefs away. Oh, there he is. They're dead. Look at that. We'll just follow the track. You see, if we're in classic now, just follow on this and track and it helps. But in this game, it does nothing. Because nothing levels up. 
<laughs> we're, we're top level of everything. Let's have a look at it. We won't pick it up just yet. Let's squish the grass down around a little bit. Yeah, not too bad. See how they got a really big fat head on these things? Oh, they're just chunky, aren't they? And these things in real life, that'll be like all muscle, man. That'll If that hits you, you're gone. All right, so 137. So the, the, the water buffalo is one and a half points away from being a diamond. This is miles away. But still not a bad one to get. We've gotten two eight mythicals today. Look at that. I like the model there. It does look very nice. And they've sort of darkened this area a bit now. So that's pretty cool. Left lung at 156 and it was on the run. So nice shot. Better to have the bad shot earlier and not on the 8 mythical. That's why it's hard to complain when you do a bad shot. As well, we stuffed up a 6, but we ended up getting the 8 mythical. So, you know, hard to complain. It's, oh, damn you. <laughs> I'm glad that we came here today. I was a bit worried that... Uh, Maybe I didn't have Cape Buffalo. I don't know why. I was just like, you know, oh my God, where are they? I can't find them. I can't find poo. It's all like, you know, because I love these animals so much. I need them on my map or else. The lions here are good though. I like the lions and the buffalo on this map and the rest I don't hunt that much, to be honest with you. I have hunted the Gembok when they first, you know, when we first had the Savannah, then they're just sort of everywhere in some bits. And you look at it and you go... Eh, yeah, I've shot bigger ones, so you just leave them alone. I do, anyway. That's, who cares? The next update will make the harvest screen a natural grey. And you can zoom, all right, in and out. It looks really cool. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, the more little um, niceties they put like that in does help the game. And like I was saying earlier, when you buy an ammo, it should have a... Like when I'm in Guild Wars 2, if I'm buying, say... Because when you in combat, you actually have food to help you give you a buff. It might give you extra power. might give you 5% on all your abilities plus some health. So you're always having the food. And when you buy the food, you don't just buy one. You can buy 20 at a time, 5 at a time. You just press the little arrow next to it. And uh, that's what they need to do in this game when you buy a pack of bullets. You should be able to then increase that and say, well, I want to buy five packs of bullets. I don't have to do it five times. Just a little, you know, better, easier UI to play with and just make everything a bit more easier. I'm sure it wouldn't be hard to put in. It shouldn't be. They're always going on about the, what do you call it, the features of life or whatever they call that in this game. They want to make it better. You got killed over time to hunt the lions every time I like the um, lions and this. I like they can kill you straight away I wish the um, grizzly bear could kill you straight away as well all the bears should kill you one hit should kill you or almost kill you and then if they hit you again if it turns around and swipes you again you die alright because it's a bear in real life a bear if it swipes you you're going to have these big gashes down your face and maybe your eyes going to be hanging out your head. Uh, you're not just going to need a band-aid. Although, you know, obviously I, I go for the whole realism side of it and it's never going to be like that. But I just last time I was hit by a bear, it was a grizzly bear or whatever, it hardly done any damage. I go, eh, it needs to do more damage. Because I'm the one that dies in the end. So, you know, I'm not complaining. Hello, you're a female. Sometimes you're really aggressive. I think I can... Are you running? I thought I saw it wobbling there. Yeah, it ran now. It was just wobbling in there a bit. I must have had a bit of a sherry this morning. Well, we got one Cape Buffalo, and it was a mythical. When you started playing the game, bears on latents were so... They were, weren't they? Those little black bears. And I got killed by them a few times, which I enjoyed. They were aggressive. And I thought, yeah, well, that's pretty cool. But then, once again, 
they go out of their way because they get a few complaints from a, a little kid. <laughs> and oh, oh, we better not have the animals so aggressive. It's like, mate, it's a freaking bear. <laughs> it's not a white-tailed deer that jumped on you and you lived to tell the tale and you've got a few scratches. It's a freaking bear. And I'm sure they'll sort it out in the end. Like I was saying in the last stream, when Beard asked that question, put one if you want the animals more aggressive and put two if you want them less. There were like two twos and everything else was a one. And he freaked out. He goes, I can't believe so many ones and everyone wants the animals more aggressive. And some people said, yeah, we want them more aggressive, but probably when you're doing a harvest not to be attacked. Well, I don't have rules. If I'm doing a harvest and I get attacked, Fair's fair. I should have been paying more attention. So I don't want rules when they can and can't attack you. At all times, harvesting an animal or whatever the hell you're doing, reloading your gun, they should be able to attack you. Because that's when you get killed. That's when you're careless. That's when you made a stupid mistake. And you have to pay for that. No free rides, my friends. Oh, Hello. I'm coming for you. I'm, you know, coming to shoot you. <laughs> Where are you? In fairness, in real life, black bears will run off if they can. All right, fair enough, because they probably don't want to tangle with uh, people sometimes. Except for the mama bears. Yeah, I've known that, heard that with cubs, right? And on the grizzlies, on the other hand, will clock you one. Did you ever um, hear that story? It's a real story. It was in America, I think. It, this guy used to go out and like live with the grizzly bears and then camp with them and watch them and, you know, thought he was freaking Tarzan or whatever of the bears. So then, you know, he comes back and then he takes his girlfriend or some woman with him there, right? And they go back to uh, live with the grizzly bears. And uh, not long after they got there, uh, grizzly bears, you know, must have thought, well, shit, looks pretty tasty. So they ate them both. And the audio recording, I didn't listen to it. Apparently you can find it on the internet because they were recording... When they got attacked and the audio is still, uh, you can uh, sit back and listen to two people getting uh, pulled apart by grizzly bears. I didn't want to do it. Like, I'm not uh, that type of person. But, yeah, that's what, you know, you don't go out and live with the grizzly bears. They're wild animals, mate. <laughs> mm. So, yeah. You gotta respect animals like that, right? Yeah, that is awful. The poor girl, she probably believed this guy and fell for him and thought, oh yeah, he lives with the bears and we're gonna go camp with the bears. Oh, they made a movie about that, did they? I don't they probably did. It's a true it's a true story, the one I'm telling you. Like they may have made a movie about it. I didn't know they made a movie about it. But uh yeah. You just don't, uh, it's like, you know, Steve Irwin, he always knew the job he'd done, he was probably going to die at the hands of a crocodile or something, right? Or a snake bit him, something, you know, because he was hanging with crazy animals. You know, crocodiles here, saltwater crocodiles, if it grabs you, most people are dead because it does a death roll and it drags you under the water and holds you there till you drown. And then holds you, you know, they keep you there and they just eat you bit by bit. Right? And they might find a bit of your body floating up, you know, or something one time. So Steve Irwin always sort of, I saw in an interview once, and he always thought he was sort of going to die at the hands of an animal, which he, it was a stingray. I bet you didn't think it was going to be a stingray. Oh, it's a bad shot, bad shot. That one's probably even worse. Oh. Um. 
Um, I don't know. I've only hunted the Mississippi like a couple of times. And then I saw was, at that time was losing interest in the game. And I've, I've actually got to revisit that. I really don't know. I think uh, an alligator is as aggressive as a saltwater croc. Well, they're not as big anyway. These saltwater crocs that we got here in Australia. Oof. All right, did I hit any of these? That was all bad shooting. If I've hit one in the lung, it is like called the lucky shot. Hello, any blood? The gators will attack if you happen to stand around in the water. But it's more down to bad luck. Unless they bought, you know, some sort of creature like that into the game. You've got to give them props for that, right? Oh, one, we've, we've, we've asked one. Right? <laughs> Must be this one in the lung. Oh, that's a big blood behind it. So we hit this one in the lung. We did one good shot. I think all the rest were garbage. And that's, that's down to me. Uh, you're a female. We hit the left lung at 176. Oh. Let's just check if there's any more blood. We heard a, another KP up there. I wish they'd come in a bit, though, so I could use the sh pistol onto them. I am addicted to uh, shooting beef with pistols. All right, let's see. We've got a zone here. Surprise, surprise, it's not a Cape Buffalo zone. Or is it? What is it? No, it's some sort of little animal. No, it is a Cape Buffalo zone. They're weird little footprints. Okay, you're stooging me. <laughs> I, don't, I think we might have hit one more buffalo, but if we hit it in the butt, unless it traveled into its stomach or liver, it's uh, just going to keep running for ages. Let's follow the poop. At least we're getting a couple. Nothing for the lodge though. I didn't keep anything. We kept a, a nice uh, mythical water buffalo. Was it last time? I oh, know it was a it was a red deer. Red deer we kept. But yeah, we still got that seven in uh, Hirschfelden that I want to crush one day. Because he keeps getting smart with me. Uh, let's go up here, see what happens. Yeah, so I don't envy you guys who are heading into winter now. We've just uh, come out of winter. We didn't have much of a spring. Uh, apparently the world's warming up. I, just, I wish I knew where. <laughs> it's not here in Melbourne anyway. Well, yeah, today was pretty nice. Still, you know, it wasn't... It was probably like 20 degrees, and it actually felt warm because it's been so cold this spring. Like, what is, we're having an El Nino, El Nina. Where am I on the map? I am near Dezonga. We just come out of uh, Derry Derry Hollow. Or you could also travel to Nazuti Hollow, or... You could actually go to... I'm not even going to try and say that one. <laughs> and there's my brain looking at it. Oh, God. I have enough trouble with English, mate. Let alone whatever that is. <laughs> African or... That click... What are, what are the click people? They talk like that. Who are they in? <laughs>
The Zulu. There we go. Old Zulu, mate. Oh, mate. <laughs> Remember they made that crazy movie and the guy found a Coke bowl or something? He was in like, one of them little men. It's probably the film would be like called Racist now. It probably was back then. I don't know. <laughs> Oh my god, they used to play it every year. I don't even remember the name of it now. They used to play it. There was two, there was one and two, I think. They used to play them every year in Australia. I haven't seen them for years now. They're probably off the playlist because it was the clicking sounds. Uh, we may have lost, lost the beef. Miriam Mekaba. Did that during singing. I don't know who she is. Zulu is the language they use for for the map. All right, the click languages is from the sand people. Yes, I don't know much about. I should more learn. You know, I don't know a lot about other cultures. I do find them interesting. I find the Japanese culture pretty interesting. They were a crazy people back in the day. They got a hand that's all. Oh, 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 what are you, what are you, where are you doing standing there? Oh, maybe that was one, I sh one of the ones I shot earlier. Did I shoot you earlier? And now you're a bit sad. You're going to be a bit dead, mate. That's a ton of blood. This gun close up is just a... It's a power beast, mate. <laughs> that. It's a beast of a gun. you got to love it. That is beautiful. But we might have ruined it. This might have been injured with one of the sh crazy shots earlier. I could just saw more beef run across there. I went into here. Down in that gully there. There he goes. There's a few. I might go check them out. You're a fatty. You got that one gut shot there. One of them hit your lung. Um, e, not F. Oh, they both hit your lung. No, you're good. All right, you're silver. We didn't hit you earlier. We're just hiding in the bush. Eh? He was trying. He must have got a new camo suit trying it out. Thought he'd be able to stooge me. There's a crazy pig. In this case, the pig comes, we'll put this gun in our hand. Oh, I can see a beef. Oh, they're running. I can see a few beef. A big red one. Oh, that's a seven. Look at that. You can tell the males can't. Look how stocky they are. That is a beautiful looking animal. Are you going to run out? Wrong gun. You're going to run out here? And run across here, are you? Oh, that's long grass. Let's go across. There is a few down here. Good, uh, good place, Snail Rancher. There, it's a beauty. Now at least I know where to come and find them, right? Because when you can't see them, the struggle is then you spend an hour looking for them, and you could have been hunting them in that hour. Oh, don't camp there, mate. Go up the road a bit. Up, up, up. I want to be able to see you. There we go. I don't know if that first shot hit the line. It might have been a bit too in. I was hoping I'd walk into it a bit. I'll have a look. You've been trying to find them for Skippy's competition this month. Oh, there we go. He's having a beef competition. Yeah, he contacted me when I started playing this. I think he told me that. And I just said, look, mate, you know, I'm just getting back into the game. I don't want to get into a competition because, you know, I'm just getting back into this game slowly. At my pace. I want to do it at my pace. No one else's. Uh, we hit it. I know we hit it. I just don't know where we hit it. You made me want to play the call the while wishing that uh you will snow right sure good one yeah well sometimes watching someone else can you know it gets you back into the game a bit and you think oh i might go back there and uh shoot something man go shoot me favorite animal 
But I think, you know, a lot of people will have a rest, you know, like Karina had a rest from this game. The only ones that don't have a rest from it are the ones who do this on a grand scale on YouTube and that's how they make their cash, so I don't blame them. But at least now they've got the Way of the Hunter, they got the Classic, they got the Call of the Wild and soon they'll have the Ultimate Hunter if that's a good game. So I'll have, a, you know, four hunting games for their channel instead of just one or two. So then they won't go as nuts. Because I imagine sometimes they do go a bit nuts. And when I'm playing this game again every day, what's going on, mate? <laughs> uh, we got it. Another good shot. Thank goodness. So I'm not getting many cat buffaloes. We did get a mythical. We've got now a seven. So another gold. Since we hit a good, should be gold. He's a big red boy. Yeah, they're a good looking animal. And it is a goal, the 124. Pretty much only just the goal, but sevens usually are gold. And there's some pretty curly horns. They're not that big. It looks like a bit of a Mario moustache on his head, doesn't it? Mario! <laughs> but it's the opposite way around. It's like an upside down moustache. I think you get what I mean. It's like an Irish Mario moustache. <laughs> it's upside down. Uh, can we find one more beef? How long have I been streaming? Oh my god, three hours. What did I, How long did I stream today? Earlier, two hours and something, I think. That's not a bad start to a weekend. A five hour day of streaming. Two games. I have been relaxing in the city skylines. I haven't played that game in ages. Actually, even though when my first city failed, I didn't worry about it. Because I just went and built another city. And I find it relaxing. It's like, I find it like comparing, doing a jigsaw puzzle that you actually don't know what the picture is. Hello. Hello. Go for a heart shot, we reckon. Oh, I think I've got the heart shot in. Where'd the other one go? Uh, let's, did we get a long shot in, though? I probably should have just went for a long shot, but every now and again I go for the sneaky heart shot. And if you miss it, sometimes you don't hit the lung, it's the worst shot of the day. Because you just hit the muscles, you know, in the chest, or you don't do a lot of damage. What are we done? Ah! Oh my god, we've done a bad shot. I can't see no big blood. Hey, don't you say that to me, buddy. <laughs> like it burped or farted at me. <laughs> oh my god, do we even have blood? I marked it, right? So it should be shining blue. We've got a poo. Um, we're just here. <laughs> What's happening? Have I gone blind? Have I gone crazy? So this should be the brand new poo, right? Brand new, just now poop. And then it ran down this way? Did it turn at any stage? Did it? What the hell have I done? Was it? Was this the right one? Oh, we're going up here anyway. Obviously, we didn't hit the heart. Did we even hit it? Like, I can't even see blood anywhere. Um, hello. <laughs> I think I'm just going blind. Yeah, so nearly Christmas, which is, uh, yeah, just, wow, so quick this year. Me and my niece are going uh, to the local big shopping centre here on Sunday. Because she has to do her Christmas shopping for her friends, so she wants me to come with her. Because we usually spend Sunday together, so I'll go up there and have some lunch and she can do her shopping. I just heard one. I can't see blood. I, I'm sure I hit that beef. Did I miss it? Did I shoot its poo instead of its heart? 
<laughs> what have I done? I don't know how I've, um, how, how has this turned out like this? Well, having such a good hunt. <laughs> Uh, I don't, I must have hit it. Or I've just missed the blood back there and it ran the opposite way. <coughs> but I thought we marked it when I spotted it. I thought this was it. Like another just now poo. And, uh, it's on drugs, mate. Ah, uh, ran up. But it's been a pretty good hunt. I've actually enjoyed this back in the beef. And we got two uh two mythicals, one each, one of the water buffalo and one of these. And this thing is gonna drive me crazy. We're just gonna walk up here. So we find. So I'm hearing them. There we go. Another female up here vocalizing at me. It's on the other side of the ridge, obviously. Yeah, but I can't wait till tomorrow, one o'clock. Guild Wars 2 World vs. World when I rock up to Eternal Battleground. Goomer and Anvil Rock better be playing someone else and not us again. Had enough of them <laughs> this week. <laughs> Uh, good fighting though, it's just there's just way too many of them. It's like playing, you know, Battlefield and you just have 10 people and the other team have, I don't know, like um, 60 <laughs> or 50. It's like you just can't, you know, you're chasing your tail when that happens. I got some nice kills on them this week. Oh, there we are. They were attacking our keep, and there were two of them. They broke the wall down, and I was standing there, and I, I just come at them and became a reaper and chilled them to the spot and just cleaved them. I, I reckon they couldn't believe what was going on at first. Oh, there we go. Maybe... Did you already have a bullet in you? No, you didn't. So you just, once again, you're another one hiding behind a bush. I thought maybe it, that was the one that we could have shot and it was just standing there like, oh. <laughs> Apparently they are going to add the ability to mark a spot with the binoculars. Yeah, they should do that. That was one of my suggestions for quality of life is when you pull up your binox and you're looking really far away and you shot the animal over there, you just press the middle button Instead of it zooming, it just puts a, a mark on your map. So then you can walk over and, uh, you know, you don't really lose the spot where you shot the animal then. Especially if you've only wounded it, then you might have to track it for a fair bit. So that is a good idea. I like that. I like that we have that feature in the Classic. It just makes life so much easier than bringing up a map and putting a waypoint there. So, yeah, because it's instantaneous, and that's uh, how things should be. But, uh, yeah. They can bring that in. I won't complain. But this game will still, even though there's other hunting games out there, I think this game will still survive and do okay. It has its own sort of character and its own, you know, thing going for it. So, you know, they just got to keep adding good features, making the UI a bit easier, making the animals, you know, if the, if the, if the majority of people want the animals more aggressive, we'll do that. Don't, don't shy away from it. Don't worry, you get a complaint from the odd person saying the wolf's ate me again. Well, bad luck, mate. Learn how to freaking hunt. Learn how to shoot. And we all died to the wolves. It's not just you. So, you know. They've got to learn to, just because they get a few complaints off a few little losers, just don't worry about it, mate. 
I'm not calling, you know, they're probably not losers. They're just concerned <laughs> about dying. But you've got to relax and you can't be worried about crap like that. Hello, are you trying to, you got camo on too and think I can't see you? Are you glitched? Come on. Let's see how close we get to it when it does. Hello. You give me a photo opportunity. <laughs> Uh, let's see how close we can get before it actually reacts. If it reacts. Yep, it reacted. Alright, now you're going to come back? Toro, Toro. Andre, Andre. Ipa, 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 Ipa. Boom. Oh. You're going to pay for headbutting me, buddy. There you go. That's the price. But it seemed a bit glitch though, just standing there, right? When you do that, it is one way of coaxing them into, you know, going the whole hog on you. There we go. You give me a little headbutt. And you are a silver 1100. They do pay good cash. All right. So, but I reckon that could have been a little bit glitch. Just the second one, they're just standing there. I mean, they shouldn't be able to walk up to a Cape Buffalo like that. So maybe every now and again we are getting the glitchy animal. Because I remember them, I don't know, I made that video about my channel news. It was like a month or so ago and I hunted um, water buffalo and we had those three females just standing there. And I was saying in that video, well, they should be attacking me now because I'm sneaking up trying to shoot the male. And they're all watching me, all three of them. But like one of them should have said, um, we usually don't let this happen <laughs> and attack me. No, I think we've, I don't know, we've still got some, but they're going the opposite way, are they? It is a beautiful map, though. Like someone, I can't remember who it was, uh, one of my subscribers or people that chat, you know, in the in the comments asked me once, you know, if out of all the DLCs, because I think they only had the main game, they go, what would be the next map you buy? And I said this, this map. Because, uh, you know, you got beef on it, you got lions on it, and you got all the antlered type animals if you like them and then you have your rabbits and your jackals and the wildebeest are a really weird looking animal you've got to give them you know they are just super weird looking i want to do i want to try and double lake here lion lake and just see if we can get a lion why not we're here and i think we need another animal are they putting any more animals on um medved man we need something uh, new on Medved, I think. They haven't done anything to that map for ages. I think it deserves a bit of love. Oh, was that? No, that'd be a bush. It was probably just shimmering in the heat. I thought, was that a beef standing there? Nope. Nope. No beef. I might pay a visit to Medved in a stream soon. I used to love going there. I'd, I wouldn't mind actually restarting the missions there, hopefully, you know, hoping that they're not broken. <laughs> I wouldn't want to restart them and not have them to work properly because they were the best missions in the whole game. They actually put a lot of effort into their missions and they had good cutscenes and you got you ended up getting that diamond bear, remember, that attacked you in the cave and... You found out that that lady's in a wheelchair because of the bear that you, you're after and you got to kill. They had a really good story to it for a, you know, EW hunting game. Sort of had a story behind it. You got to know that lady who was talking to you. Although you, I don't think you ever met her, but you sort of got to know her history behind it. And I thought, well, it was pretty decent what they'd done there. And we had some missions on this map that were sort of okay. And then we're sort of starting to slacken off and, you know, go pick up the, you know, there was a trap and you had to press F or E or whatever the fuck. And that's not a mission to me. 
just go press F or E. Who cares? Get F. That's press F. Get F. That's not a mission. <laughs> yeah, it was good, but the, this is the map where they started to get cheesy. They started to give us a, sort of easy ones and less cut scenes and stuff. And then after this map, it just went to hell. It just went to, well, uh, we're not having collectibles anymore, and you sort of just go around and press F or E, and that's it. So I, I, even had, I suppose the... Spanish one, you had to get the, what you had to get? The cat things on there? There were some cats in that mission. Some of them were okay, but I just thought Medved, they, it really shone that they put the effort into that. You could really tell. But I suppose, like they are a small company, they're trying to bring out two maps a year for this. Now we have the fishing game. And they're going to have to bring out, um, you know, you know they're dying to bring out a DLC for that game, right? Another map with different fish on it. So I think missions now are never, ever going to be as good as Medved. Well, they haven't been for years now, but they're never, ever going back to that. Because now they've got their, you know, fingers in more pies than they used to, right? Which is fair enough, they're a company. They're supposed to expand and have more products to sell and that's how they survive. We all get that. But at the other end of that, that's where you'll never get more, another Medved missions like that. You'll never get that again. Well, I don't think we will. <laughs> anyway. Avalanche is not so small now, they made... Yeah, they did, but didn't they make that under license with another company or something? Although that was a good Mad Max game. That needed to be made, that game, Mad Max. It needed to be made, and they actually done a decent job with the Australia map and, um, you know, stuff. I thought that was pretty cool. I still haven't 100% of that game, which I actually do want to do, so I might do another stream of that soon. Because I think we need the big chief. We need the bigger engine. I still got to get that. I got to complete some uh, areas on that map. So there might be another stream or two coming for that soon. Because that game does have a good feel to it. I, I did enjoy playing that game. I do enjoy the other game. Of, what is that? Horizon Deep Zero. Horizon Zero Dawn. That's not too bad. But I've given that a little rest for now. Because I've gotten back into this. I can't play them all at, at once. i got to have a, you know, a few games on the go. And then I'm usually pretty happy. What is that? It's a bush shimmering in the heat. <laughs> oh, let's see if we can find a lion. I usually when I come here we do get lions. Hopefully they haven't moved them away from this lake. <coughs> I'm not sure. I haven't shot a lion for ages. Oh, this is a prime spot for them. It's not too bad. And we find a little bee stings. That's probably a good size one. Free very easy. Uh, let's slowly walk around this lake and listen for the roar. The lion. Roar. <laughs> and they got the call the robot. I don't even know if they add to that game anymore. I've never played it. I've never really been interested in it. But uh, yeah, they've got, they've got a few games on the go. Uh, I do like they still add classic. Like this year, the Halloween, they blew that out of the water. I'm glad they took it off Timber Gold Trails. Australia's a better place to have it because you can see further, you can see clearer, and we had a variety of animals to shoot. The werewolf, the pig, axis, the fox, rabbit, and I think I'm missing something. And uh, I think there's another animal there that I'm missing. Or did I get them all? But yeah, that was a good uh, that was a good experience, and that's what you got to aim for a fun experience. Not, it doesn't you know have to be the best, but as long as it's fun. And I, I thought that this year was really good, because usually we just get the werewolf, which is good. Every map is getting new animals except uh, SRP. We are putting wolves on method. All right, cool. Thank you, Colin. Good to see you, Colin. Sorry I didn't say hello there, I just saw your 
you chat there. But oh yeah, that's good. Wolves on Medved will be a good thing. As long as we've got to keep them wolves, we're putting wolves on Medved. Well, they're in the snow. They're very cold all the time. They're going to be angry, all right? That's what I want them. I want to be angry wolves. I want to pat them. I want to be their friend. I want to shoot them, and I want them to attack me. And then you got yourself some good wolves. All right, am I walking the right way? What am I doing here? Am I at Lake 1 or Lake 2? <laughs> I don't even know where the hell I am. Let's go on the other side of the lake. You get a better view over there. What have we got here? No lion uh, signs yet. We had plenty of wildebeesties. Well, that's good. Uh, we need something on Medved. I think it's a good map. It just needs something. On the, and, and an aggressive animal would be good. So what we have? The moose, the pigs, the brown bear, the fang deer. I forget what they're called now. The deers with the fangs, the vampire deers. Um, the reindeer, uh, that's about it, right? We don't have a lot of animals on that map. I think, oh yeah, we're at Lake One then. So I think we do need, Wolf would be a good inclusion on that map. But, you know, remember, it's a wolf. Let's keep it real. Let's have him attack us, and uh, it should be good. Adding the... Capicali to Medved as well. Oh, there we go. The murder grouse. Cool. I don't mind getting attacked by birds. That's cool. Oh, I think I see a lion. Oh, no. I see how you saw that tan there. Oh, the bloody lion. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Our first gen block of the day. There you are. Hello. Oh. Oh, hang on. I've changed maps, so I mean, spray came off, probably. Right, just, you know, I, I think it stays on you, actually, when you change maps. I just, I haven't sprayed. Why do I keep pulling out the hunter, mate? Seriously. I don't even know what this thing, why is this thing in the game? You should be able to use it for a radio. You should be able to pick up radio stations on it. <laughs> and watch YouTube on it when you get bored. I don't know, watch YouTube video in game. <laughs> Run me on it, mate. Well, that lions usually come down here in the afternoon, and uh, it's still before midday. Oh, I suppose the hunter mate gives you the time. It's handy like that. Use it like a clock. Only wildebeest, man. I'd shoot one if they're close enough and it's sort of decent. I'll kill it. I was hoping for a big male lion. I do like them. The models look good in this game. The lions, they actually got them really down pat. They do look good. Uh, where are you, lions? If we can't find them, I've got another two spots I can check, and then, I don't know. There we go, we can hear some birds singing. Actually seems a bit barren this map today. You know, we did get a couple of capers on. I just mean, have they moved the animals? <laughs> usually see, already would have seen usually like a hundred gems bock and spring bock bounce around all over the shop. Uh... I've only seen the one. We'll, oh, we were on the other side. We're near the coast, so I suppose that makes a difference. And I'm glad it's not cold tonight. I'm sitting here, no heater on. It's beautiful. I try not to use the heater. I'd rather sit there in the cold, but sometimes I think, nah, bugger it. But I was getting mad, because we're nearly in summer, and I had the heater on this week twice. It's like, come on, man. We're in Australia. It's supposed to be hot. <laughs> All we're getting this year is rain. Heaps of rain. 
We've got El, I don't know, El Nino, El Nino, El someone, El Salvador. We've got something going on, mate, for the third year in a row. So it keeps the temperatures down. Although, like, when it does get hot sometimes, it doesn't get, like, to 40 degrees. It'll get to, like, 35, and it'll be that real thick heat. You know, like, when you walk outside and you just start, you know, it's, like, tropical. Not clear. And that's that El Nino effect. Or whatever the hell they call it. I'm going to move again. I'm going to go. Do I still have a tent here? We do. Is that the right tent? Let me look. Oh, no, check this one. Yeah, there's Medved there on the big picture. It's a good map. We just, yeah, we need that, the wolf, and we're going to have the bird on there, so that'll make that map a lot better. Am I in the right spot? Uh, I'm not sure I am. Let's check. Oh, it's pretty skint out here, isn't it? Like, where's all the animals? And this is the wrong spot anyway. Let's have a look anyway. What have we got around here? Is this the right, right? Is this the spot? No, this is. Oh, let me check. So you, you don't go on a map for a while. Next minute you're like, ah, oh, here. <laughs> like, what's going on? You've turned into an idiot, Glenn. Ah, oh, this should be the right spot. If we land. Blue. Here we are. Uh, it sounds like it lines around this lake. And the other Cape Buffalo around here too. Unless, you know, they moved it now. Which could have happened. I used to have a... Like, especially on that side, they'd have a lion zones, drinking zones. So it was always worth coming here and checking on and off. Because then at certain times of the day they'd be over there drinking. I found once one here, a female lioness and a Cape Buffalo, like, fighting. It was awesome. Well, the buffalo was chasing the lion. It was just weird to watch. I think I ended up shooting the buffalo. The lion was probably happy about that. <laughs> it seems quieter, this map. And it's just me, could be the time of day. Oh, it's all the animals in a different spot, and they're all grouped together. Go, we'll just stay here till he leaves. <laughs> He'll never find us. Oh, look there. So the Cape Buffalo still come here. There's a small female. Oh, there's another one. There's a bigger eight mythical at the back there. I wouldn't mind getting him. He'll be the biggest one in that group. Oh, he's so far away. We're going to try and sneak up. It's just, which way is he going to walk? I might have to go down this way. There he is. Can we get two mythical Cape Buffaloes today? That'd be nice. I used to, before the reset, I had a, both maps on the, with the water buffalo and the cape buffalo, I had a diamond on each that I hadn't shot yet, but I knew they were there. Because I'd seen them and they were at a distance and I wasn't taking a shot, it was too long. And I thought, well, I'm not going to break a diamond. So I just let them go, thinking, well, I know they're on the map. And they reset the maps, I'm like, oh, well, now they're not on the maps. <laughs> We are getting the odd uh, mythical though, which is good. Oh, we got. Oh, so we down to. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Did you move up? There you are. This is what we're waiting for. I did come. I walked the right way. Still gonna be a long shot. How far though? Let's check. Let's double check. Triple check. Oh, I got it. You beef said 243. So let me put her on 300 and aim straight. Just, there we are on 300. Uh, we 
just going to try and straight pump it into the lung. Oh, damn you. You're going to wait now? All right, you're just turning around for me, all right? You're just playing smart ass. Not a problem. I totally understand. Can you just go a little bit more sideways? Or can I? We can get closer to the water. Oh, man. We can get a shot in here. I just want it to... I wouldn't... What are you? Let's just double check them all again. I don't think they're going to run. You're eight. You're seven. You're eight. Oh my god, two eights. You're between 802 and 950. And you're exactly the same. You're brothers. You're twins. Uh, twins, mate. Not the hugest mythicals I've ever seen. Oh, 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 that was the shot. Go back. Oh, son. Oh, the other mythical's giving me the shot now. Oh, man, I'm running out of breath. He's down, he's down, he's down. The other mythical's still there. Let's reload and just reset for a minute. Right, let's check. Oh, the other eight mythical walked over the hill. Will they come back? The seven now. I might have hit a second beef by accident. I'm not sure. As long as they run into each other. See how that eight mythicals like hobbling? Do we hit it by accident? They all seem maybe they're all sort of hobbling. And we've got an animal up there laying down. That's not a beef. There's something else that oh I could be standing up. Uh let's go get our beef. So it went down, which is good. We we'll make sure the gun's loaded, gun's loaded. So not a problem there. So we did get another mythical and a chance to get another one, but, you know, it can't be too greedy. If I had it stood there for that bit longer, I did take a second shot, but I was aiming at the first mythical we shot at. I'm not, not sure if another one ran into the, into the line of sight by accident. We will find out. I'm hoping it didn't, because I don't want to just wound it. Alright, doing good with the capies. Come here looking for a line and we found a two eight mythicals. That's cool. They might just be on the other side of that hill too, so we'll pick our friend up and just have a peek over the hill. It's a long walk, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> you have to be fit if you're a real hunter in real life. And there'd be no way I'd be out hunting beef in real life anyway, because then you would get killed. <laughs> it's not a game anymore then. We have some pretty big beef in Australia up the top end that could kill you. No, I wouldn't go out hunting them. <laughs> in the game, it's cool. All right, damn this grass. Oh, the Zulu set fire to stuff like this, mate. <laughs> All right, so this, the area was just over there, so the body should be up here, just up on this hill here somewhere. So it did run for a little bit. What's that? Is that a rock or is that a dead beef? rock so if I had the classic thing that Snail said before I could have marked my dead body and just walked straight to it with the binoculars 
because then even if it's in the long grass, not a problem. The home on the buffalo in classic are amazing. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They're pretty aggressive too. I love the horns on them. The horns on them are huge. They can get just a like a normal one in that game, and it's almost like a big gold in this game. And you get a big one, it's like a diamond in this game. They're huge. So thick, the horns on them. Ah, oh, here's that dead beef. Hello, piggy. Come, my friend. I will snap your face off. I see the pig's ass running over the hill there. So let's pick this up and peek over the hill. I don't really want to shoot the pig because I might have another eight mythical over the hill. And a vicious scrub hair, mate. I'm not going to get a look at the horns here because it's fallen into a bush. They're not huge, though. Uh, there goes something. Um, gold. There is a gold of one four one. Not too bad actually. See, look at the lines on the moustache. As I can tell, you got some extra beef on that. Right lung at two oh nine. Nice. And it's worth twelve forty seven. Oh no, we did. I knew it. Cause when I took the second shot, I saw a black thing running into it I was like no I didn't want you to run into that and I'm hoping I just didn't hit the other 8 mythical now but I was going to second shot this one that we already hit just to double you know make sure do the old double tap but the other one ran into it which is uh, not what I wanted I don't think this is thing whatever it is it's not going to die I don't think Probably hitting the leg or shoulder or some crap. Uh, let's just follow the blood a little bit. As you can see, it's not going down. So even if I did hit the mythical, it probably shouldn't die. Why'd I do that again? Yeah, so we've only got the one death mark there. So whatever's in front of us hasn't died. There's no uh, spot on the map. So I'm hoping we didn't hit the mythical. Oh, it's going down a little bit. I don't think it's enough to kill it though, seriously. The horns on the buffalo in class six are amazing. Oh look. That's the wounded one. It's gotta be. Oh, the gun's on 300, Glenn. Yeah, it's got to be wounded, man. That's why he's standing there. I don't think it's the 8 mythical, though. I'm not sure. Let's see how close it lets us wander up to it. Oh, we've got two here. We're, they're all here. What is going on? Who's wounded? Or oh, maybe you with your head down. Right, I'm gonna shoot your mate who's wounded, and then the rest can attack me. All right, let's keep it real, fell fellas. Come on, it's the eight mythical who's wounded. I think there it is. There, that's an eight mythical for sure. Just look at the horns. It's uh gonna keep facing me. We've got four. Actually, there's one at the back as well. One of these is wounded. I think it might be this one. All right, you're going to be a little smart, bugger. I'm walking over to your friend. I'm not even looking at you, all right? Stop turning with me. Oh, they're all turning with me. All right, next shot. Oh. Right, I'm nearly dead. Let's just run up the hill a bit. There we go. We finished him off. I'm pretty sure that it was the injured one. We're going to ruin a mythical. It doesn't matter. We've already picked up two. Yeah, a few other mythical and we did. See? That ran into the shot and broke its freaking leg, mate. Oh, hello. <laughs> like I had that in my hand in a way. You're another male, I think. Oh, 
Oh, this gun is just so good, isn't it? Is this a male? Yes. I was going to say, it looks built like a truck. That's a 5 medium. At least we got the wounded one. I, got, I, I was hoping it wasn't the mythical that ran into it, and it ran into it and broke its leg. So, uh, we ruined one mythical. We've got two others of the Cape Buffalo and one uh, of the Water Buffalo. We've had a good uh, hunt for mythicals today. Well, no, they run over the hill here, or somewhere. But we've taken the best ones out of that herd now, is that? What is, what, no, that's nothing, is it? What am I looking at there? I can't tell. It it's probably that bush there. Yeah, it's got to be the bush. Sometimes, you know, you look at an animal, you can see it from far away. What do I keep doing that? Then when you look with the binoculars, you can't see it because... You can't see through the grass, but when you don't have the binoculars, you can like see through the grass. Sort of weird. <laughs> uh, let's just double check. I love the capies. I love that we've got a few big ones on the map. Like I haven't hunted them since the reset. Like I said I'd been here once, so I couldn't find them. Oh, I couldn't even find poop. I go, oh no. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah. Still in front of us. I just don't like, see when they were standing like that, I think there's a glitch with the Cape Buffalo. And we had it with the Water Buffalo a while back. So I think there, there's still a little glitch with the big, with, I don't know, because I, I don't hunt much, much of the other animals, but I've known as with the Buffalo. When they stand in there like that, like, is this, here's another one. So sometimes you can walk right up to them. And to me, that's a glitch right there. Like, it'll turn with me. Like, when I walk around, it'll turn its head and keep looking at me. See? And we pump one into it. It'll get aggressive now and want to kill me. Oh, you're nearly dead here. I'll get ya. But that was glitched. It shouldn't be standing there like that, I think. Alright, so you're a female. Oh, look, we didn't hit the brain. So it's all, we get out. Oh, no, we don't. We broke the trophy organ. We did hit the brain. We smacked it sc <laughs> skull in. Yeah, so hopefully they can um, look at that. I don't think they... Sh I don't know. Is that a glitch? Oh, they do turn with you. You move and it'll turn its head with you. But I'm just standing there like that. This seems a bit weird. But I could be wrong. Just to me, it just seems like they never used to do that like that as much. Now I'm finding it a few times today. But uh, probably might be fixed for a while because they're, you know, they're going to be busy with this new map now. Or maybe sometimes when they bring out a new map, they bring out a patch fix as well. Yeah, it's a glitch. Deer do it. Alright, so the deer are doing it as well. And Rancho. Because then it gets boring. I don't want to... I think I've got a lion over there. I don't want to shoot animals that are just standing there. There we go. See? The lion place still works. We're going to try a lion shot. Just to keep the sport in the game. We've hit it. I think the first shot done damage anyway. It's not looking good, is it? Are you dead, buddy? Uh-huh. All right, we'll go around and pick up the lion. So we did get one. That's why I usually I do come here a bit. What, what's going on? All right, we're up. We're walking. Because I used to have lion zones around this lake. Like, they'd have drinking zones. And I'm thinking, well, unless they move the lions right out of here, 
We usually should be able to find them in the afternoon. Oh, is that another one? What am I looking at there? It's probably a rock. Yeah, it's probably just something tan that was there. A bit of dirt or something. That was good. We got them out. Yeah, I used to have the drinking zones along here. You'd find uh, the lion sort of tracks and there'd be a drinking zone around here. I don't know if they're still here. Lion zones are pretty hard to find in this game, to be honest. And when you do find them, when you go back the next time, they're gone sometimes. And you didn't even shoot a lion there. But the zone has just disappeared. And that always confused me. I um, didn't kill a lion there. How'd the zone disappear? <laughs> well, we got him. That first shot was a beauty. Uh, I don't even know the second shot hit it. If it did hit it, it was just it was already that far damaged. It didn't didn't make any difference. All right, let's uh, cruise on over. Nothing like a lion. I've still never found a diamond one yet. But, you know, given the fact when I come here, I'm usually hunting Cape Buffalo, and lion's like your second option. So it's probably on me that I just haven't shot enough of them. To produce a diamond... Anyone got a great one? It's a bear, the new great one. Huh? Anyone got one yet? I've never seen a great one in all my life. Any of them. I don't know, in my maps. Uh, still, the main looks needs some work, right? Uh, this looks like a lion from the 60s, mate. He's got the long uh, mullet happening. And he'd probably been hanging of Tarzan, mate. And it is... I don't know, the second shot, we didn't hit it, or it was already on the way down dead. Right lung, left lung. Yeah, the main's looking a bit... Looks all right there when you look at it in the real light. See, it looks good there. Then when we looked at it close up, it did look a bit raggy, and I don't know, it just looked a bit... I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe he just hasn't washed his hair for a little while. He was about to do it, shampoo and condition, and I killed him. It's my fault. There we go. So we've got the lion. <laughs> Shooting 7,000 animals over and over again is a bit... Yeah, it is. I don't even chase the great one. Like, if I ever see one on my map, it's going to be a total loss that it's even there. And I'll probably pull off the worst shot I've ever pulled in my whole life and ruin the whole aspect of the, of the hunt. Um, now, I do have one more lion place we can have one last look at. If I can find the right tent I think it's there I think it's out there Why don't, let me just double check yeah I think it's there because we're here um, we've done the twin lakes and found nothing yeah, we'll go just have a look here I do like the lions, they're good. They're the only animal in the game that hits you once and you're dead. And that's how it should be, it's a lion. And there we go, so straight away. We've got a lion zone sometimes down here too. So if you didn't know where we were on a map, we're in the middle type thing. And that is uh, Rilaza Biani. And that sounds like a male calling for a female. It's got to be down on this lake somewhere. Let's see if we can see him. It just depends on... He could be on the other side of all that crap right there. I might, all right, we're going to respray just in case this is nearly wearing off. Keep doing that. Why do I keep pulling out this useless piece of equipment? That <laughs> does nothing. Oh, where are you? So you're you are, you are on that side, but I think you're on the other side of all that. Oh man! Oh no! There he is. He's run out. He's run out. 
How far away are you? All right, you're really close. All I need you to... That's a nice looking, mate. It's a dark one. Now, all I need you to do, sunshine, is just turn a little bit for me. I'm not going the heart shot. I've been missing them. We tried a couple today, and I've done no good. He's dancing, mate. He's a disco lion. He's got the Friday night fever. <laughs> oh, come on, you're not glitching something. His, his front feet are in the sand. I'm just going to wait a sec. We'll see if he turns. I don't want to take a front on shot and just ruin it. We could. We go the heart shot, but I'm not really confident. We might try it, though. We might have to try it if he doesn't turn. It's like he's got the headset on and he's bobbing away to his favourite beat there, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He decided to turn when I'm not uh, paying attention. Oh, uh, come on. Come on, fat boy. Uh, we're going to walk over there. We should find him, I hope. I didn't expect him to run down to the lake like that anyway, but it was nice to see him. He had a nice dark mane on him. Although close up, they do look a bit scruffy. And I'm just maybe being particular, you know, being a bit of a... So there's probably a zone around here, and that's why he's hanging around. And he's come down for a drink. So we're gonna walk over this side. Uh, see so if we can slowly sneak up on him and get a decent shot. Like with some animals, like cause you know, like with that, I'd rather sometimes not go the hard shot. Try for the long shot, even though we might end up missing this now, we might lose him. You know, that's that's just the bad luck. I can call him, can't I? I didn't bring I don't, any of the callers. He's that jackrabbit one or whatever it is. You can call a lion with or something. But I have noticed they don't really answer calls that much, lions. It's a freaking lion. I don't think they quite care about it. It would top it off if it ran out and killed me. That would top the day off. Oh, it's just so... Is it his zone? Is this the lion's zone? Yes, that's why he's here, see? A uh, pussycat zone here. So got, why is his tracks here? Was that where we saw him? I thought he was more across. No, this is where he ran out, maybe. It's one of his tracks there. Oh, that's a female. So that's the wrong tracks. So we're looking at a male. I thought. But he's over here somewhere. We'll put this gun in our hand just in case. I have been killed walking through like this. You know, you walk through the long grass and you just... Whoosh, ugh, and you're dead. <laughs> Female lions got out. <laughs> Pretty awesome when it happens. Alright, so what are you? Ah, you're our boy, most likely. Let's see how fresh this poo is. I don't mind shooting him at a distance because with the 300, if you hit the lung, oh, they jump up in the air and dance around a bit, but then they just sort of run a bit and drop dead. Oh, you're very old. This has got to be the line I'm, old. I'm hoping. Can't have gone too far, right? Although he has stopped making freaking noise. Very fresh, so that is our boy. Uh, if he has heard me, he's going to be trotting. And they trot really fast, lions. Surprisingly how fast they move. I suppose not surprisingly, they're a cat. so Cats can move at a good speed when they want to. And they can be super lazy when they want to. Uh, he is all around this lake, isn't he? Uh, 
he's gone back in here somewhere. Or out that side somewhere. Oh, 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 you are down here maybe. Where are you, dude? I think he's super close. In case he can surprise attack me. Which I'd like. I wish it had happened. Wish he'd surprise attack me now. But then we've got an even chance of killing him. And he's got a good chance of killing me. The odds are even. Or maybe the advantage is up to him more. But if he comes out really fast, I'll go out of that bush. By the time I went like that, I could be dead. Yeah, there he is. He's over here somewhere. Come on, boy. Here, boy. <laughs> it's a light brown, so not rare. Dark brown for the time, it could be a rare one. Really? A dark um, fur around the mane is rare? And that's what we just had then, right? He was a dark one. So I'd like to see him out there. Sometimes you get a nice long shot on a lion. It seems to be the females that usually attack him, not the males, but we could be wrong this time. I just got to keep walking along with his tracks. We're hearing him every now and again. I don't know what the hell that was. Oh, this one's saying light brown. I'm on the wrong line then, right? Oh, man, that line's a lion. If the rare one's on the map and I don't reset it again, it'll still be on the map. <laughs> as long as I don't keep resetting these freaking things. I know they have to sometimes, it's just a disappointment. Yeah, dark browns are rare, but you're disturbed that, yeah, I said light brown. We've lost the dark one. Unless he's still in the right near the lake. Oh, there was a lion like barking on down there, and it might not be the track I'm following. So we're going to go back down the lake and have a look. And uh, see if death comes for me quick as I'm walking through this grass. <laughs> Imagine lion hunting, man. One, one, one f mistake could be the fatal mistake, right? Hunting an animal like this. I couldn't do it. I would really want to, wouldn't want to shoot a lion or like a bear. I'm not really... You know, they're too majestic. I'd rather just have a look at them. And then at the end of the day, we both live. Both go on our way and uh, get about life, mate. Am I walking to the lake? All right, we're nearly on top of it. I was going to say, where the hell is this lake going? There it is. Man, I should have took the shot at the dark brown one. I should have went the hard shot and just swallowed the bit of pill if I missed the shot, right? No big deal. But now we've lost it. But it is on the map. That is one good thing. We know it lives around here. I'm sure they sort of have... They must have some sort of home range, right? Where they don't go super too far out of that area. Let's go back out in the paddock and just have another look. Yeah, we were following a light brown one. We did see a dark brown one. So there are a few lions around here. And both of them... Uh, oh, we did see a female, then another male track, and we saw the dark brown male. So a few males. Yeah, but I'm still yet to get a like a diamond lion. I do have an albino female. Or albino, however you want to say it. But um, that's the best line I got so far because it's sort of rare. And it was unfortunate it was a female and not a male. But you can't complain when it's something like that. You just got to say, well, it's albino. Now I'm going to lose even the light male one we'll follow one.
Well, it's this lake. They get attracted to it. We did find a lion spot down there, a lion uh, zone. Maybe if I go back to the tent, to this side of if they've moved back, we might see them again. Sometimes animals do the circle thing. Nice car, 247. You used to watch your Hunter Classic vids when you first started. I just found you again. Oh, thank you for finding me. I still, well, we did do the um, Halloween last month, um, which this time in the Classic was on Australia. Very nice. <laughs> you got an albino male, but you shot it at night and didn't even realise until you picked it up. Ooh, that's a nice surprise though, isn't it? When you go over and you go, oh, we just shot a lion, and you rock up to it, oh my god. <laughs> More than just a lion. Now, we'll stream the classic again pretty soon. I've just been getting back into this game, so I've been giving this game a bit more probably airtime than the classic. Although we did, you know, we've done a stream with the Halloween, then I've done, I think, three videos on it. But I did have a good time. Damn rabbits. <laughs> Those crazy rabbits. What's that? What's that? Another, that's the female. Let's go up here and have a look. The male might, the dark male might have hung around that area and not left it. And I started to follow the light male. So, just in case I don't stooge myself, I want to double check. And sometimes, you know, you're your worst enemy. just because you make a bad decision and you go the wrong way. And it was still hanging around that same area all that time, maybe. Ah, oh, there's something we can't do in the classic. <laughs> Jump. It just makes life so much easier sometimes to be able to jump up on a rock and use it as a little uh, perch. What's this zone here? I'll pick it up. Um, hello, do your work zone. Uh, that's probably the one we already had. Damn, that... um. Dark line was just across from me. It's even his finest tracks anyway. I didn't mean to stream this long. Not that I'm complaining. It's just sometimes like, you know, time just flies. Yeah, I must be enjoying myself. Time has flown. <laughs> so you're the female. Then we went in, land a bit and found the light male so the dark male we saw it come right down to the river down here and it just stood there doing this disco dance and i didn't take the shot because i didn't want to take the heart shot uh probably going to regret that now this should be him here it was all across the other side when he ran down so this should be him now let's check if it turns into a dark male and not a light one uh, that's where he ran down. So this is the zone. There's a poop over there. There's a poop here, but this could be the running down track. Or the running out track. I like the noises on this map. You know, it's sort of atmospheric a bit, isn't it? Ah, right, now let's check this grass. Will it say a dark lion or will it say a light lion? I think we've uh, lost it. I think that I should have took the shot. Ah, oh, you're the light one again. Well, did it look dark and it was light? Did it just look dark from across the river? Was it the shade? Was it standing in the shadow? Because that's got to be the track where it ran down. Well, that's sort of miscalculated altogether. You just wish they uh, had competitions in Call of the Wild. Yeah, I think it's just hard with the uh, people mod this game. So you'd have a competition, you'd have some dick brain modding uh, a diamond of everything and shoot them all and win the competition. 
So I think that's the only reason they don't do it for Call of the Wild. When on Classic, it's not as uh, prevalent as far as I know anyway. <laughs> you think it just looked dark? Yeah, I reckon that's what it was. I think it might have just looked dark. Sometimes the sh shade or the shadow or distance you're looking at it, then will look, uh, yeah, it'll probably it look dark, but it was probably a light one. So once again, I've stooged myself, but that's cool. That's fine. I did get one, and it almost had a blonde mane, eh? Almost, it almost looked blonde, but it was that light. I remember I called it Gorgeous George or something. <laughs> it just reminded me of that guy, the wrestler. Oh. Sounds like it's in front of me. I'm just going to put a pistol in my hand in case it's a female who's angry. Uh, that's true, even in multiplayer with uh, someone travelling at the speed of light. Yeah, I know, like, it's, you know, it's a bit of a worry. But as uh, long as, you know, I don't do it, I just play vanilla. So, you know, whatever comes along, comes along. But yeah, that's what the only reason we can't have competitions in this game is because there's no really, um, you know, there's no security. There's no like battle eye or whatever you call these uh, anti cheat things. Although the armor battle eye doesn't really work either. <laughs> they just find a way around these things. Oh, it didn't run off if it was walking. So I don't reckon it smelt me or saw me or anything like that. It just, um, because I was having, wearing spray at the time. I think it's just wandered off to another zone, most likely. But yeah, pity we can't have, uh, even like the beta hunt club doesn't work in this anymore, does it? Is it? Oh, there it is. And daily is nothing, weekly is nothing, and nothing, nothing, and nothing. So, yeah. But I think with, um, who are they linked with now? Apex or whatever it is. Weren't they going to have competitions through that or something when it first came out? I never joined. I said join and get the free camos and all that stuff. But the camos in this game don't make any difference, so... It, I didn't really care. I, I don't even know what clothes I'm wearing in this game because it doesn't make any difference. It's whatever I'm wearing, I'm wearing. I never change the clothes anymore. Where in the classic, I, you know, camo matters in that game. Where in this game, they, they didn't do it. They didn't make the camo work for some reason. So <laughs> I don't know. But I was watching a video once and uh, this dude was speed hacking all over the place. There he is. He wasn't that far in front of me. I'm just going to sneak up a little bit more. I don't want to get too close because he might. I just need to turn. I don't want to shoot him in the butt. We can probably pump one into the lung from here like a reverse lung shot. Let me just reset. Uh, hopefully that travelled into his lung. Only one way to frickin' find out. But that'd be the one we saw run down to the lake, I'd imagine. He just looked dark. Standing on the edge of the lake there. Uh, that's what I said, he was just walking off. So he wasn't running away from me, so he just come up here. He's probably got another zone. He was uh, having a drink in or whatever the hell they do. Eating a rabbit's face off or something. <laughs> ah, he's down. So we got the reverse lung shot in. It's a, you know, not a, there we go. It's not a hard shot. You just got to get that right angle in it. And I'll just travel into its lung. And here he is. He's even turned around for us. Yeah, it's probably the shade made him look dark. It's a bit darker at the back. 
Yeah, I, I still think they've got to work on their hair in this game. Like, it's passable. But if it was more smooth and not... See how it's, like, you know, chunky? And then it straightens and then dips down really quick? Just looks a bit messy. That's all. That's still not too bad. There we go. Hit the left lung in. So we say he was standing that way. And you just, yeah, pump it in that way. And if you miss, you will usually hit the liver anyway. So, and that's a, a an acceptable shot. So, not bad. What do you think about The Way of the Hunter? No idea, mate. I've never played it. I have watched some videos on it. You know, I don't know. I, I just, at the moment, I'm up in the air about it. I haven't really overly checked it out. Um, could be a good game. Like a, like a snail ranch has had it. I think he didn't like it as much. Where I had um, Jet, um, who liked it. So I don't know. There's, everyone has their own opinions. So I haven't played it, so I can't really give an honest one. But I know it's apparently harder than this game. It's a bit more like classic. And you got to watch what animals you shoot because the animals stay on your map and grow or something. So you don't want to kill all the males in a herd or something. It had a lot of bugs at first, but have not played it ever since they updated it. All right. Yeah, I can't give an honest answer. Like, I've watched some videos on it and I've heard feedback from Snail Rancher, a couple other friends, and everyone has a little different opinion on it. And it just depends on their style of hunting too. On how they like to hunt and what they call, you know, good hunting or not good hunting. So, but I don't plan to buy it at the moment. Um, because I don't think I'm missing out really. I'm just slowly getting back into hunting. So, I wouldn't want to pile up another game onto that anyway. I will say it's a beautiful game. All right, fair enough. I like games that, you know, they look good and you get in there and you it's immersive and you feel like, all right, the game's doing what it should do. But at the moment, like when I looked at it, like the animals, uh, they're all good in that, but we got them animals sort of here, so I'm not... The one I'm waiting to see how it turns out is the Ultimate Hunter. <laughs> You don't like it, it's a decent at best, and you aren't missing out on much. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm missing out, to be honest. I don't feel like that I'm, you know, like, oh, damn, I don't have that game. So I'm really not that bothered about it. And, you know, I don't mind a game being out for a while, and then they fix all the little bugs and annoying things, and when they have it on sale, if I'm in the mood, well, then maybe I'll buy it. But, uh, you know, until then, I'm not really going to worry about it. But, uh, you know, I, I'm in, more interested to see how that Ultimate Hunter comes out. Because, what, they're going to have elephants and zebras and... Sounds like they're having every animal that exists on, in the world on there. And you'll be able to shoot them. So, that could be interesting. Imagine going out on an elephant hunt. That'd be cool. And I imagine in that game, all the animals, if you, you know, hunting elephants and shit, they should be able to kill you. I imagine an elephant would do a great job <laughs> killing you. <laughs> yeah, but I don't feel like I'm missing out, so, you know. I did have a big rest from the hunting games. I did need a big rest from the hunting games. Because, you know, I sort of hit a brick wall and was burnt out with them. And, uh, yeah. You shot a two star mule and a five star mule, and they had the exact same rack and size. Yeah, that's no good. Oh, that's one thing I found annoying in this game for a while before the true rack stuff. So you went out and shot a white tailed deer. And you show another white tail there, another white tail there. They all started to look the same. It just felt same, same. 
So I'll stop sort of hunting deer in this game because I just found it a bit, I don't know, a bit generic. Everything looked the same. But when they bring in the true rack, then it sort of adds a bit more spice because every rack should be a bit different. It's like, the, you know, when you do the classic and when you see something big or a non-typical or maybe a pie bowl, you know you're looking at something that you're not going to see every day because they're a lot more rarer in that game. And, uh, you know, that's when you really got to take that careful shot. Oh, my most non-typicals I got in the classic would be mule deer. I think I got like maybe five of them. Could even be six. But I hunt mule deer a lot in that game. And I've got one or two white tail and maybe only one or two black tail. Non-typical. I've only got ever shot two albino in that game. One was a male moose, one was a female white tail, I think. Uh, we did have a bear barrel once, and there was an albino brown bear there. I let my niece shoot that. So she got an albino in the game, and I did see a male kangaroo once I got to Australia. There was a big herd of kangaroos, and the big male in the middle of them was an albino. And I tried to track this thing. I couldn't find it, man. So I knew once I left the map, boom, it's gone. Because in the classic, you know, the animals reset every time you log in. So if you see a rare one on, in the classic that day, like a pie bold or an albino, if you don't get it that day, ba-ba, it's gone. And that sort of makes it more... I don't know, just make it sort of, you know that, you know, if you've taken that shot, it's got to be a good shot. You don't want to just wound it and then, have, you know, track it for forever. But, yeah, that's what I like about the classic. It records every shot you take, every animal you harvest. You can go to the Boone and Crockett Club. And you can see exactly where you shot it, the distance, the GPS coordinates of where you were when you shot it. it just does so much for an old game. Well, of course, the graphics aren't as good as this, but um, you learn to live with that, don't you? I think the ultimate hunting is the one that I'm really waiting to see what's going to go on there. All right, have a good one, Snow. Thanks for popping in. I'm not going to be on much longer. I was only going to stream for two hours. We've been going on for four hours, 32. It's my second stream today. And tomorrow I'm going to wake up and not be able to talk all day. <laughs> I'll be able to talk. I'll be really quiet for most of it because I've spoken so much today. But yeah, have a good one, man. Have a good weekend. Don't work too hard. Just work as hard as you have to. And that's it. Because they don't know, they never appreciate it. Those bastards. <laughs> I may be at your work, they do. But, uh. Look at that up there. It's a beautiful map, though, this. I, I feel there's less, I don't know, today it feels like there's less animals on the map. I don't know, it could be just me. Like, usually I've seen, like, I don't know, so many herds of gem spock by now. Like, I've only seen one gem spock all day, which is really weird for Africa. And we've been over the map a bit. We've been in a fair few different spots. So I don't, you know, have they less in the population or are they somewhere else? Not that I care. I don't really hunt gem spock. So I don't give two hoots, to be honest. <laughs> I did get an albino one. Last time I hunted a uh, gems block, I wasn't really hunting them. And in the distance, say like on that hill up there, there was a whole bunch of gems block running up a hill. And right in the middle of them was a white one. And I shot it. And eventually died. I tracked it, you know, followed it and got it. 
It was an albino. Then I got another James Bond once. It was an albino, but it looked white. When I looked at it, it sort of looked sick. I go, it's right, this one looks sick. I can't remember what they called it, but it wasn't albino, it was something else. I think I kept that one as well. And when you look at it, it's really a really light, sort of tan, almost white colour, but not white. Yeah, like a beige colour. Uh, but it had a, a special name, I can't remember what it was called now. But I haven't. Um, I wouldn't mind getting one of them uh, crowned um, wildebeest. I've never seen one on my map. I think they look pretty good. If you get a good one, you put it in your lodge. I think it looks, you know, pretty snazzy. Wouldn't mind one of those. I've never seen one. So that'll be a. Uh, we're looking for one of them one day. I was near this tree once. I'm pretty sure it was this tree. And I was following, uh, there were two tracks of lions, a male and a female. So I'm following the male going on like this, and the female ran out and just killed me, mate. It was right near the tree. I went, yeah, you beauty. <laughs> it was pretty awesome the way I'd done it. But yeah. I think the lions attack less now, too. The lions attack less, the cape buffalo attack less, the water buffalo are still good, and the bison aren't bad. But the wolves need to be uh, turned up to 11 again, and not down to uh, 2, or whatever they're on now. Especially if they're going to put them on Medved, I want them to be aggressive. You shot one yesterday, it was a female. Well, Gemsbok, the female Gemsbok are... Uh, they're the ones that actually turn into diamonds, right? Let's check this tower out. And uh, see what we can see on top of it. But I still don't have a lot of diamonds in this game. Although I don't chase them. So, I don't know. I do get a lot of mythicals. Get tons of them. We got three today. Yeah, the crown wildebeest. I wouldn't mind one of those. I've never gotten one of them yet. I've never seen one on my, on my map, and I've shot a fair few wildebeest, but they obviously are pretty rare. You know, or rarer than a lot of the rares in this game. But I wouldn't mind seeing one, getting a good shot on it, and it being a decent size, you know, like a gold. Even if it was a silver, I'd probably put it in the lodge. It was just something to look at. I don't put too many animals in my lodge, to be honest. I actually deleted a whole lodge by accident. <laughs> I wanted to go to it and I actually deleted it by accident. Oh, I can't go there now. I've just deleted the bloody thing. But I think you get to keep all the animals then or just go back into the inventory or whatever, right? The lodge inventory. I shouldn't have lost them because I had a few diamonds in that um, lodge and I accidentally deleted the whole thing. They should have a, do you really want to do this button? Do you really want to delete this? And I would have said no. <laughs> I was just half asleep and pressed the wrong button. Uh, let's have a look up here. I don't mind these towers. They're a decent size, aren't they? It's the type of tag you can hit two people and then not kill each other. I like the ones on Lake and Lakes. I remember me and my niece first went in and, went, and the two avatars bounced into each other until they were both dead. It was just so weird, I should have filmed it. I go, I don't think two of us can get in the tower, it's just killed us. <laughs> but this tower, not a problem, you can fit like four people up here. But see, usually you go up to like this tower especially, and there's always gems bop all the way along this plane, and you'd even get the wild boar walking across, or whatever you call the, them pigs that live here. Warthogs. War pigs. Now that's the, there's usually, isn't that where they, I don't know, that's that rock outcrop there. Yeah, it just seems like less animals on uh, Savannah. Maybe I'm wrong. 
you just might hunt it more than me, but I just seem to, just the vibe I'm getting and looking around, um, yeah, it just seems a bit skint, really, doesn't it? Did they take some animals off for performance issues? Or sometimes they'll do shit like that. There we go. There's a gems box. There's a spring box. We found two animals. But, uh, I suppose that's okay. I was used to seeing more animals on this map than I have today. But like they said, they reset the map and then they moved a lot of the animals around. So maybe they're just in different areas that I'm, you know, not in today. Oh, oh I fell down by accident. doesn't matter. We'll go back to, uh, I'm going to go back to a lodge. Which one was the first lodge that we actually rolled into this map? Or was this one? one that I think? Was it that one? Where am I now? Well, look, there's that tent there. Uh, maybe it was this one. Remember when you first got to this map and you had to do the stupid um, mission to open up the first lodge? Not stu you know, just the mission, but... I, I just so confused. <laughs> I haven't been on this map for ages, so now I've lost my bearings on it. But that's where we shot the lion. So I reckon it, it's not that one. I don't know, just confused. We'll go there. We're going to end the hunt anyway. I've been going for four hours, nearly five hours. That's insane. But so I don't play this as much now, so I really enjoy when I do play it. I don't want to overplay it yet because I, I just want to stay on an even kill with this game. For now, like I did burn out on it, and that's real. Like you just can't pick it up and play it until you're ready. Like you just go, nope, can't play it. <laughs> Even though, you know, everyone wants you to make a video about it. You just, I can't do it unless I'm happy with the game. You know, I mean, not, it wasn't the game's fault. The game wasn't doing anything wrong. It was me. So, yeah, I had that for, uh, I don't know, six months. And uh, I don't like being like that, so that's why I'm I'm just slowly doing this game, slowly doing it bit by bit, and not uh overstaying my welcome. Although today we did stay a long time, I didn't want to stay this long. Not that I mind, it's just because this is my second uh, stream today. That was you for about three months, burnout. Yeah, it happens, man. And you just you know you sort of in a way you want to play it, and then something you go no, nah, I'm just not ready yet. And I just couldn't do it. And I could have done it and faked it and pretended I was having a good time. But I'm not going to do that to you guys. So then I start playing other games just so it evens me out. And I bring them to the channel. And every time I bring a new game to the channel, I lose a ton of subscribers. But then it, you know, it fills back up again. Even Steven. So... But I didn't want to be a liar to you and go, oh, yeah, I'm just going to keep playing this game even though I sort of hate it at the moment. Because then that's fake. That's you know, I'm not doing the right thing by you or me then. So yeah, I, you know, I am getting back in the game. I am going slowly, slowly. But uh, we're getting there, man. You know, I've never made 400 videos about any other game except this one. Then with the Hunter Classic, I think I'm just over maybe 120 videos. Like, I don't count the live streams. They're just videos. So if you had the live streams to this game, we're probably close to 500 videos just on the one game. That's a lot. That's a lot of videos on one game. Although, you know, you got people like DD and probably Flint to, you know, they, they'd be doing 500 videos a year, a year on this game. They'd probably do one a day almost. That's, you know, good luck to them if they can still keep playing it, enjoying it, and having fun, and, you know, making content with it. Oh, that's that mountain up there, right? Here. 
I'm just going to have a look up here while we're here. I haven't been here for ages. I'm pretty sure that's the spot. This is where the jackals and the uh, rabbits were, right? If I've picked the right spot. Now, where am I? Yeah, the plot out. I'm going to grab an ATV and ride through the cave while we're here. And that'll finish the video on that. Let's go to the garage. Pull out the black one. The red one's faster, but the black one looks cooler. Where is it? There it is. Now, I want the ATVs from uh, Far Cry 5 in this game. These ones are a bit crappy. So, W. Alright, they give me a whole thing here. We'll go through the cave. Yeah, the Far Cry 5 ones are a lot better. I'm just going to turn down the sound a bit. These things can be loud, these uh, um, audio. That would be good. Oh, I'll pump it down to 50. The ATV in this game is a bit loud. And it's not a good sound. <laughs> it's been a while since I've owned an ATV in this game. We used to do, um, if you look at the map, me and my niece would try and get round this whole map. You know, you had to go inland sometimes, but we'd try and stick to the coast as much as we could. And, uh, yeah, you'd end up wrecking ATV after ATV. But it's a good challenge, right? What happened to the road I was just on? There it is. They were fish tailing. Come on. This thing's a piece of crap, mate. I don't want things fishtailing if you got a lot of power behind it, but this doesn't. Alright, so the cave's up there, right, somewhere. Just gotta find the right turn off. This is. I actually was impressed when I first went into the cave. I thought, wow, they've done a really good job. It was pretty interesting. Alright, I wish this thing went freaking faster, man. Uh, it's up there somewhere. So it's like going across. Oh, they've got Springbok up here. That's cool. It used to be uh, the, the jackal and the rabbit up here. Oh, we hit one. We're burnt injured. <laughs> oh, look. A jackal. Hello. Watch out there, buddy. <laughs> So there's a few animals around here. Uh, come on, there's a cave. I think you go around this side, if I remember rightly. Or can you drive straight up the I think you've got to go around the side, not up the middle. It was a great time, Batch. I'll see you on the next one. No worries, Frank. Have a good uh, day, mate. Uh, probably in America, they're all off to work now and around the world. It was, uh, it's very late here in Australia, probably about 1 or 1.30 in the morning or some crap. I haven't ridden through this cave for a while, so let's finish on this note. Since I overhunted again today, but that's cool. We stayed a long time. Did I miss the entrance? No, it's up here, right? Oh, that's stupid, am I? <laughs> oh, don't hold your breath. Don't answer just yet. No, we found it. We're good. Yeah, this, they've done a good job on this. This is re really impressive, this cave. I never expected anything like this when I heard there was a cave. And then when I went in here, I went, wow, this is awesome. you got to take the right track, though, or it's instant death. You can fall down a big hole in here. I still want to remember the right way to go. And not kill myself. Alright, so I think we go this way down here. Oh no, no, it's not! I have gone the wrong way! 
Oh, I got my binoculars in my hand. Let's see where we're going. Oh, there we are. Hello, it's me. <laughs> oh, oh, poor me. It looks like we're not going to make it. Oh, what's happening now? I'm flying. I am Superman. Oh, it spits you out the other end of the cave here. So if you're really bored, right, you can try and, uh, you know, do a swan dive over the cliff here. And if you die, sometimes it just brings you straight back to there. So you just... Right, we can keep running, keep running. Oh, will we live? Oh no, we died. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? I think you can see my bridge is broken because I didn't, haven't done the mission here. So I can't ride my ATV across that bridge. But in my friends' uh, maps, they've done the missions. I didn't. But if you have your ATV here, you can ride off this cliff as well. But yeah, it's probably better with the ATV than actually jumping. I'll try one more time. Right, let me get to the bottom without, you know, we'll jump off this bit. All right. Is this the right part? Let's have a look. That's looking pretty like we'd die. Let's go to this end here. Ah, now we're gonna run off this here like a diving board. Don't do this at home, folks. Oh, so we can't get the down the bottom without dying. Look, my body, my body. Oh, it stopped. Still sort of rolling. Can we get all the way down the bottom? No. We're stuck in the... Well, we're still sort of moving. Fly, buddy! Oh. Bad buddy. All right, going to end the hunt there, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I will be back in this game. Classic. What else have I been doing? we done Far Cry 5. I did, I did do a little bit of City Skylines just to show people my first city, and then I am making a second city. Um, I won't bring too much of that to this uh, channel, but I just thought I'd show it because uh, it is a good game if you want to relax and you can get that game on. Although I do have a few of the DLCs for that. But I bought it all when it was on sale and it's a very relaxing game. It's not very frustrating at all. Can we actually... Are you just going to die anyway, right? A lot of fall damage. More fall damage than uh, being attacked by a fucking grizzly bear, mate. I have been defied by gravity and defeated. Uh, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks to everyone who popped in. Frank, NASCAR, we had Snow, we had uh, Karina here for a long time. We've had a few people, so thanks to everyone popping in. Keep a lookout for me. Maybe tomorrow night I'll do another stream. If not tomorrow night, it'll be probably Sunday night. But yeah, I will be gaming tomorrow. World vs. World, I probably won't stream it because I know you guys don't like it. Some people don't understand it. It's just PvP and it's fun. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for dropping by. I'm going to go have a big drink and a sit down and not talk till tomorrow. And I'll catch you all on the next video. Thanks.